I tried my high, my hand at bio. It, guys, yeah, I got you on a different level of, of thinking. I love that, though. but I've always appreciated. I've, I, I have from a long time from Aaron Kane yourself. Um, yeah, it's great. Cool. So uh, for tonight's exercise, are you planning on drawing uh, digitally, or uh, are you going to be drawing on paper, or what's what's your plan? I'm thinking of doing both. Um, I, uh, more in, in this exercise is kind of like um, uh, uh, what how how I how I will draw on paper um, and how I will also draw on 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 the on the um, iPad digitally. Um, uh, it, I have a different look. I, I definitely see a different look from iPad to to um, to paper. Uh, so I feel like I'm a little bit more aggressive on paper. So it has a more of a teethy look more like claws look whereas the uh, ipad is very cleaner it's, it, it's a little bit more refined um not so much aggression um I, I'll, I'll if i'll even uh bring in some reference pictures that i have from like studio um digitally like uh like one of my favorite books right here is uh princess mononoke and um uh. there's some there's some water reference on here um uh, and, and also some of my Japanese books that I have. So I, it, so it's both paper and half, half paper, half tablet. Right. All right. Well, uh, where do we begin? Um, okay. Uh, do I just flip the camera around? Yeah, I, I'm going to yeah. do the same. Okay. Although we're going to stay focused on, on yours. I'm just going to be the little window off in the corner and a little bit later to, uh, tonight, once we uh, get into this a bit, we'll be sharing the Zoom link with, uh, with some of our regular participants and we can start seeing some of their drawings too. But okay. uh, yeah, I'd like to, to kind of really focus on our first couple of drawings. And uh, I'm terrible at waves. I mean, I've done a lot of waves, but they, they never look legitimate at all. And I'm, I'm really hoping to to you know i'm i'm not putting any pressure on you i'm hoping to break my bad habits here tonight <laughs> i'm hoping you can help me kind of like just look at it a little differently and yeah, i'm yeah, also no going to be uh i'm going to be encouraging the anyone who tunes in tonight who enjoys this uh i'm going to try to do a wave drawing every day at least one a day uh and we can kind of reconvene next week and compare uh drawings see uh see how far we can push ourselves in a week um, Andre, I'm just going to interrupt for a second. Andre, if there's any way to have your um, camera put sideways, um, that'll help us be able to have a full screen of uh, what's going on for you. Oh, yeah, if you, if you can rotate your phone 90 degrees. And uh, we've got a bunch of people in the chat room. We've got Chris All saying hello. Tavon Krieger's here. Uh, Trevor Goodwin, which I think is from Tuffy Tap. Um, Bruno's here, saying he's really looking forward to this. Um, and Trevor Goodwin says he's got a great reference of finger waves from real life. Uh, he says that one image changed my whole perspective of them. Uh, yeah. Um, and uh, Joseph Joseph Jake is from New York City is tuning in as well. Yeah, I always love when you end up with a reference that is just so like. You know, it, it ends up causing you to make a, a piece of art that's truly different, you know, from how you used to draw it. All right. Well, I'm going to shut up now. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no one <laughs> shut up. I like I, I want to hear as many questions as possible. Um, um, no question. And, and uh, who told me this? I, I've heard this before, but uh, no question is a bad question. Oh, right. Man. No such thing as a stupid question. It's <laughs> funny. There was this this kid in one of my classes in like fifth grade. And he is, you know, sort of sort of this dopey sounding kid. And the teacher would explain whatever was going on. And he would always raise his hand and say, I don't understand. And, you know, <laughs> people sort of chuckle. There was always that chuckle. Yeah, Mark, Mueller, he doesn't understand. <laughs> we were so grateful for him, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's good that somebody asked those questions. Um, okay. Um, so, so this is like a simple exercise. Uh, I... I 
Andre, I'm just going to quickly ask if you if it's possible to put your uh, phone to the side, just so we can have a full screen of your. Uh, Does your phone have a way of, of rotating 90 degrees? Oh, to the side. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, cinema sorry. style. <laughs> That's perfect. Awesome. There we go. Let me set up my. How about that? Beautiful. All right. So we're starting with a circle. And um, we can just work within that space. All right. Um, and uh, this is something that I learned from um, Yoni Z. And you can just do like a C. So like if you look at this, this is like a big C, right? Like a fat, chunky C. Or you can do another circle and you can do uh, the yin and the yang. But we'll just start out with this one right now. Um, and uh, so um, one thing to uh, think about, don't really be so tight towards the end, but you wanna be as loose. So you're gonna be sketching, you know, this is a really, uh, so then we're gonna do like, um, say what so and, and i'm always thinking about physics so if this is the earth or a circle or if you're at the beach right and you were if you were at the beach and you were staying like this is a bunch of people sitting standing on the beach mm -hmm. and this is kind of like how the ocean floor is the waves would be coming in like that right and it kind of curves up mm -hmm. and uh so you're gonna be moving in that motion and it's just a bunch of half C's. And that's a good, a good little exercise, you know? And, and that's what I've, and, and so once you have that, then you can always work off of it and pull and pull and, and watch how the physics work because it goes like this and it goes like that. So it's, it's basically C's within C's within C's uh, or half circles within half circles within half circles. Um, and if you ever look at how a, a, a natural wave is, when it comes in, it kind of, it, it, it builds up and has a breaking point and it comes back and there's a, and there's a back. And that's how basically water comes into the ocean, right? Like in, into the water comes in. It always, it, you, you, you always see the force of water coming in, 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 in waves, right? In waves, at wave after wave after wave, break after break after break. So what I've applied over the years and what I've looked at from Hokusai is the same thing. Hokusai always did finger waves in that same way. And then he just basically just did that. And there's always a midpoint too within that circle, right? Um, and that's it. That's basically it when you look at that. And that's perfect. I, I mean, you did it. You know, and now and now what, what happens is, is, is you're you're going to refine it. You're going to bring this the first one and you, you, the, that first half circle. You just make a little it's another piece that comes from that. And you come back on it. You double line it, double line it, double line it, double line it, double line it. And this guiding line that I did right here earlier, I just work off of that. And then you double line that, or double line that, double line that, double line that, double line that, and that's it. And 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 then from there, you're you're just bringing you're you're looking at from the back of that wave. It's just a it's just a smooth area, and then that's it. It just it just it just tapers back. It comes back down. It slopes right back down. And you have a you have a, just a, a traditional Japanese style wave, and then you're just erasing you're erasing the amount of and and on an iPad all you're doing now is you're, you're putting another layer on top, and then your the op, the um the the original image you're you're dropping the op the, um the opacity, and then you're just gonna retrace it back over. So then what you would do now, you just kind of and and don't be afraid to move the paper. 
And now when I want to put extra force on my water, I, I moved, I'm, I have the wave to the side, like it's, it's pointing to my chest. And then I just really just retrace the whole thing. And I'll, and I'm not going to go really crazy, but this is basically it. Now this line that I do here is it, it's to show water motion. It's the water motion style. That's it. And double line that, double line it. Come back down. Jim Lee who draws Wildcats, he always talks about don't be afraid to move the paper. You know, don't be afraid to like pick up the paper and move it. Don't be really too stiff with it, you know? And and then because you're also you're also using physics of yourself. You're uh, this motion, which are, which are, which your hands are very 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 strong, right? And you're just refining it, refine motions, double line it, come back, and that's it. Wow. Well, that's great. Yeah, that's great. It's like magical. And then, and then it's almost the same way. Like uh, with, with with bio, it's 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 you know those hooks that y'all bring out. It's it's a fatter version of this finger. You're just like you know, like it's just it, it's 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 how you're looking at it in. In, uh, visually up close or far away. Finger waves are more far away. Um, Biomech, I feel like, is a lot up closer and you can put more detail into it. Um, um, and then when you're looking at like a traditional wave, let's bring it up on a tablet. Let's look at that guy right here. Uh, Where'd it go? Oh, it didn't copy. All right. Um, oh, here we go. This one's perfect. I did save it. I mean, look how beautiful this is. Now this is like uh, this is perfect. This is what this is this is what I dream about. This is what I love to draw. Like you can you can you can kind of see what I'm talking about. How how um it, the buildup of water is is curving over. Wind is blowing the wave back, and that's something that I would I I would like to figure out how to draw. And I and I. And I already figured out how to do it right now by just by looking at it. But uh, let's say like this. I'll change the let's sketch it. Let's make the image a little smaller. Move it up. Um and how to break this down. How to break this down if I was gonna tattoo it on someone's arm. Um and how I would take this. Even though this is a landscape style, how how I would turn this into a, a full sleeve? Um, am I am I jumping too far? Jump too, jump no, too no, far no. Here? This is great. I'd love to hear it. Okay. Um. So. Now, from what I showed you earlier. Um, now you have uh, this first wave, which is a lot more closest to us, is in the foreground. Um, I already know that it's, a, it's at the breaking point, it's falling over. Whereas over here is the full, the full finger wave. It's already crashing in. Wind is blowing it back, back this way. Um, it's moving and it's falling back. 
but you can already see over here, this is going to be the next wave that's going to come in. And so I'll take this part and I'll put it like right here. And, and I'll just do, because this part is like that. That's what I see right here. Or I see this part right here. So I'll just take that and I'll put that there. So this is this is most likely, you know, forearm, back of the forearm, right? This is this is lining up with the elbow. This is this this will be great coming over the arm a little bit, you know. And then uh, I'll look at this part and I'll just start from from here. Yeah, so it's almost like drawing a skateboard, but taper down a little bit. Elbow, arm dip, shoulder. Do you need me to zoom in a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it, it's at this point, I think we've seen the reference pretty well. If you want to show us the reference a little closer, if there's some things about it that, that you think are important, otherwise, It'd be great if your drawing could fill most of the screen. So this part of the reference, I just basically, what I like about this, this reference, I just took this part right here and I'm applying it to here. Um, um, this part is that, you know, and it's moving. I'm actually tracing out the white. Let's say it like that. I'm actually tracing out the white. And I'm just putting my own water here. And I'm bringing this part here. Um, and that's it. Oh, that's perfect, guy. There you go. Uh, I don't know about perfect. <laughs> no, I like that. Because well, everybody has their own eye to it. Everybody has their own eye. Everybody's seeing it their own their own way. You know, I, I, I like that. Um, and now I'm now what I'm going to do is just bring that into the drawing. So, yeah, I guess one of the things that I always struggle with is the idea of, you know, like you've got these long, smooth arcs and then you've got other parts where it's broken up into all these little half circles. Right. And yes, uh, you know, kind of the same things apply with bio, too. And you want to have a nice balance between the long arcs and the, the more complex uh, edges. And uh, so I always feel like that front arc, I don't want to break it with anything, but then I see people who are good at waves and they seem to make exceptions to every rule and just kind of flow nicely the, with it. Is the arc that you're talking about this part right here? Yeah, yeah, this in, inner arc there, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, um, I, with, yeah, with, with uh, I, I think you can do it. I think I think that's probably something that you can tap into, like just break that break that arc a little bit. Maybe maybe just re doing something that would, would would refine it, you know. Um, well, I mean, like you've done that right above that ditch of the elbow. You've got your first break in it, you know. Where yeah. I always feel like it has to follow all the way to that first plunk, you know, and um, you know where where it uh, is kind of like exceeding the edge of the sleeve. Uh, you know, just, yeah, exactly. Just a couple inches past there, like, uh, yeah, I, uh, I get so stuck in these formulas, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, good waves always seem like they don't get stuck in formulas, you know, uh, because mine tend to always look kind of the same. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I would say it's. I would say that um, what you're what you're what you're saying is the the formula you've been going for is all, has worked for you, right? But no, but, I I don't feel like it has. <laughs> That's okay, part let, of my let, problem. All right, let, let's 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 try one more time. Let's try one more time. Um, how can I break this down? How can I break it down? All right. Um, let's let's. 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a new one. I'm going to keep doing new ones. And I'm just listening to you. And I'm telling you where I'm struggling a little bit. But uh, let me look at what you're doing. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, now I'm trying a little bit different approach. So, OK, uh, uh, another thing that seems to go wonky. See, that, arc that, you, that, that arc that you just did. That, yeah. yeah, that right there, right, right there. Now the mid part of that, do another C, do another, do another C up, going up, oh, above that. Yeah, like so, like you just did that one over there. Go from here and then do another one. Just keep keep building up, okay? Just keep Hang building up because get rid because, of this one. Yeah, yeah. You just keep building up, keep building up because you can build. You can you can. Um, I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna just show you a, a crazy one I just thought of. Like we're, we're gonna come back to that sketch, but like when you're when you're drawing, when you when you want to build up, right? Think of this is what I love about Mavericks, right? <laughs> Imagine you're at the beach, a wave comes up like this. <laughs> right, right. That's a little guy on his surfboard coming down. Yeah, that's the wave. So it could get as high as so you're. It, it, I, I can imagine that whenever I, I look at Biomech, I'm always thinking of like an alien planet. Like what would be the, the tallest structure? Like a tree, right? A tree on our planet is like probably one of the, tr the tallest organic structures. And yeah, yeah. Whenever you're in the redwoods. Feet. Yeah, so you can build on it, right? So like where, like what I just saw you do, you just, you know, you just did that. that. And I'm also drawing small too. There's a, there's a thing about me too. I draw small. I, 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 you can ask Grime, um, Henry Lewis. They've seen me draw something probably like the size of like this big. I'll do a whole figure something about that big, and it's and it's 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 helped me loosen up to like when I do something big now, I have a better perspective on it. So I, um, when I look at a wave, I can say kind of like uh, um, um, like pull it, you know, this, like so. This is the first art. And you, you 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 build like that, and then oh, I want to do another one, and you can kind of you kind of see it, and I just know that this will break back here a little bit, or if it, I don't want it to break back, but I, I I want it to 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 come down like that. You know what? Here we go. Look at another one. Let's 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 look at this. Let's look at this design that I did. All right, and we're gonna do the time lapse. Okay. Um, Time lapses are great. And um, these are my steps for it. Um, here we go. Uh, so the first one was what I was saying before, where in, in this time lapse, I did a little bit of a wave and then I did that curvy motion, right? Almost like it was like a stream. And as I'm doing, I didn't like it and I tried it again and I didn't like that one. At this point, I was really overthinking something because I was like, oh man, I'm going to be giving this to guy and it's going to be on his website. And I don't know how many tattooers are going to see it. And they're gonna be like, "Oh, that water looks sucks." And I and at one point, I just said to myself, "You know what? Just do something really simple." And I built, and I built from there. And I was like, "I'm just gonna do a single wave, a simple, a really simple, simple wave." But it's technical in a sense. But again, I started from the lower part, and I built up. You know. Yeah. And again, this is these these are the steps that I take. But um, I mean, if you know this, it started out as a thumbnail and the thumbnail, I, I traced out the box. This is a 12 by 19. I traced out the box and I shrank it down. And if you look, that's the box right there. It's a little tiny box. Yep. And I'm still drawing tiny on, a, on an iPad. I, I, I haven't, I still really think about like what tattooers say, I mean, not tattooers, what comic book artists do, they, they always do thumbnails. And uh, I worked off that thumbnail until I got really comfortable with the form that I wanted to do. Um, and uh, 
but this wave is basically a little bit of Hokusai, but more of um, Kiyosai. And I and, and when I and when I wanted to understand what I was drawing, I really traced out what they did, and I traced it in a way that um, I paid attention to like feng shui, where I started with the physics of moving it from the bottom and building my way up. And I was trying to figure out a bunch of different effects. I was doing like a little dragon in the mist, but I, I wanted to keep it to the original the um, um, subject matter, which was uh, a wave. Um, and um, let's, you know what? Let's uh, let's duplicate that. Um, And let's let's redraw that. Let's let's let's, let's go off of that. Uh, so when I when I when I started this, and I, I could say where if I was to draw this, if I was to trace it, I and then with feng shui, with um, they're talking about building and also building a house. So you build up, you you start from the bottom, you work your way up. And um, I, I'm, I'm using the figs of what I would see on the beach or whatever, and where the water would come in and it would come in from, um, it, it's coming in from the ocean and it's, and it's, and it's basically splashing. And it's, it's, I, I just looked at a splash that was on my phone. And uh, I just, um, whoa. So we've got Oh, sorry about that. We've just got a couple uh, people in the chat asking a couple questions. So I figured I'd throw them out there and see if something comes up. Yeah, well, so, what are the questions? Um, how do you deal with the uh, quote unquote crotch where the two different directions meet at the V point? And how do you stack several waves together without repeating the patterns? Um, well, let's. Let's uh let's go let's let's talk about that let's do that um can you one more time one, one more time on that question yeah. um so dealing with the uh, where the two different directions of water of wave meet at the V point and yeah. um the idea of stacking several waves without repeating patterns okay um here we go that's that's perfect that's 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 what guy was talking about um. And I could do it one more time. That's why, uh, that's why I love the tablet. Let's let's do that. Um, so again, um, the stacking effect, right? Let's sketch it. Why's my why's my pen? Okay. Um, I will stack like like this. Uh, so this is coming in from 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 out in the ocean. It's coming in, right? Um, and let's say there's another water, some more. Now this, this, w w what I'm doing right here is just basically working off of this mass of water that's in front of it. And I'm doing another finger wave, right? Now, what I'm also doing is what you don't see is Dragon scales, it, it, it's all it, it's all tied together. All it's all part of the grand scheme of nature that we don't see. But these dragon scales are half circles, right? So now I can constantly stack as because there's many scales that I put on the screen. Let's start like that. Let's just let's go. Let's do that. So it's it's scale after scale after scale. And I just choose which scale I want to work on, you know? Um, and uh, there we go. And now I want to, and now I want to work with, I want to work off of this stack, right? I want to make it more waves. So I just go like that. I'm working off of this, even though this, this wave right here. Oh, well, yeah, there we go. And I'm going to do, and it's not going to repeat because these are more forced back. So I'm just, going to just keep going and it's just going to be wave after wave after wave 
And none of these are going to be the same. And I'm just choosing randomly. I'm choosing randomly which, which, which ones I want to work with. How do I want my, my warrior to come out? The scales are moving in this direction, though, right? So you can, you can, you can do scales on a paper in any direction that you want. You can, you can go like this. straightforward you can have your scales coming down this is all in the all in a circle so it's this weird mathematical equation one of my clients he he, he hit he hit the head, the nail right on the head everything is kind of like a mathematical equation is how you work within that equation and how you how you perceive that equ equation and how you make that equation work for yourself um and like really tapping into it. So I have now if I want the if I want the scales to move this way, that's it. Now it's just me putting the waves any which way I want. And if I want my water to come down aggressively, I'll just work off of. And 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 but it's there. Um, Crazy. I'm yeah, trying so to wrap go my back. mind around that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 technical with it, but it, it sounds really technical. But it's what I see in biomech too. Um, if if you were the a guy, can you sketch a little biomech for me real quick? Something. What are the steps that you would do right now on your iPad? And I'm telling okay. you, you're, you're doing you're doing the same waves. You're doing well, the same. Well, yeah. I mean, you're, usually I'm going to be, you know, trying to find some kind of motion that feels natural. Uh, I'm drawing relatively small. Like this is pretty normal for me. Uh, if if I'm working in a sketchbook, it's a four by six inch sketchbook for you know, like if I'm uh, thumbnailing for a sleeve because I want to be able to tap into those motions that come built into your hand, you know, without having to move the heel of your hand around too much, just being able to swing the hand and the fingers uh, around. Uh, there's, there's these kind of built in arcs and movements that just come naturally. And so try to tap into those and use them to whatever extent I can. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a, personal aspect of it that i think you you have more uh leeway with it than with something like waves or something where where you're trying to uh express or mimic the flow of a natural element right because uh when it comes to those you know water isn't just fluid it's a certain kind of fluid right it's right water you know like if you wanted something that was splashing around that was more like syrup it would look different you know it would have a different viscosity and a different flow to it so you know every element is has got different flow to it and so when you when you've got uh bio you definitely have uh, a lot of leeway as long as it makes sense in some way or another as long as it seems to flow as long as it moves nicely you, you want to have some of those you know, long curves and, you know, some more complex edges as well. A nice balance of detail and uh, simple. Uh, you want to make sure that you've got some areas that are, are relatively open. Um, okay. Same thing. Same line. thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. So select bold lines, some thinner lines, some elements that might not have much in the way of lines or gray lines, you know, just so that the, bolder line elements can pop forward so yeah absolutely i mean the 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 comparison is is you don't have to reach that far to find it okay here, here's another one but so if i if i was looking at um rocks on the beach and, I, and i'm going to really talk about the physics of why um we use rocks and stuff so like if there was a uh well, let's do beach rocks well, why are you Someone else uh, has just popped in and is wondering about how to know when you go into the other direction. 
or switch from one side facing seas to the other side facing seas. All right, so that's now this is where the rock comes in. All right. And um, so again, like if, if, if the, if the ocean current code goes in, I'm, I'm looking at it like this. Wham. And it hits the rock. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm only drawing the overall shape. It's going to hit the rock and come back with the amount of force that comes in from, from the ocean. Right. So it come in now. How do I make this interact? Well, it's still hitting the rock, right? And I'm gonna make the water come over now. So it's gonna come over here. And it makes it break. And then that's it. Mm. And, then, and you can already see the skeleton of it. And now all again, like I was saying before, I just, I just, uh, I double line it. Now I'm double lining it. I'm just I'm adding a little bit more aggressive bumps to it. Everything is um, double line half circles. And there's different, there's different forms of water, right? If I could. It goes another form, right? It's going to come back in. Right. And now I, and this is what I remember. And so now this is why I say, like, when I go to the beach, I remember how the water moves and how it's actually, like, interacting with, with another object. And it'll splash. So, I, I again, I put some, I'll put some uh, finger waves on that, like, you know. And I'm thinking about mass and how that affects, but but this is like a, a, a looser style of water I've been working on, right? This is something I would think that I would love to do on the shoulder, uh, upper arm, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm thinking what would that look like? But it, it the, the, when it changes direction, it just changes direction because it can, it can do that. You know, you can, you can make it change direction anytime you want it to. Um, so now I'm doing another layer. So this is, a, this is, a, this is, you saw what, so the rock is in the foreground, mid ground is this wave, background is another word, another amount of water. So the, I, I, composition wise, I'm, I'm saying, well, this is, this is moving here and this circles here and put circles anywhere you want. And I just work off of that circle. And it's changing direction. If that's what he's saying, but you can you can you can make it abstract anytime you want. You can you can put things in, and it's gonna work because it's it's I'm working within the laws of nature. It's because this is these are the things that I remembered going to the beach and seeing. So it's like it or, or you know what's a good way to do it? Um, if you ever go to a laundromat and you're doing laundry. And, and the, when the water is spinning and it's turning around and around and around and around, it's kind of doing these weird soapy waves, right? Well, that, that soapy water is almost looks like that soapy water you would see at the beach when it, when it, when it's constantly being um, pushed into the, into, into, into shore. Right. So like that's, these are also things that I'm also looking at and I'm also remembering and why I can stack water the way I, I stack easily by, because I'm, it goes back to the um, 
the scale thing, right? So this water is moving in this direction, and and I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna look at like uh like that, um, and it also goes to this. Uh, I mean, this is where the reference of why I draw water the way I do it is. Uh, uh, I mentioned um, I mentioned Kuniyoshi. And if you look at, at these waves right here, it's doing exactly what I'm saying. It's kind of a, it's all of these waves are here, you know, like, well, th this is what, this is what out at sea would look like. This is right. His, they're breaking in all different directions. They're breaking in all different directions. And he's, he's, he's showing you what it looks like probably at the mouth right here. This is these little waves over here, but then look at this one that would be where the, the fin is. The, the you know, the tangles over here. But then look at these. Look at the, look at how this is in this direction, and then you have ones that are on the back. I, I, this is stuff that I, I looked at so much, you know. Um, and the reason why I, I, I could say I could look at this and I'm not, I'm, I'm really comfortable with saying I I I steal from. Um, uh, some of the masters because it's just it's it's what I saw when I when, when I look at Horiyoshi. Why does Horiyoshi do his water the way he does? Well, he was looking at Kuniyoshi and he's looking at Hokusai. He said, "Well, this is what I look at." Um, my favorite comic book artists say, "Look, um, they look at other comic book artists, um, and and that's what all these comic book artists they looked at the guys that are the best and they brought their style into it, and then that's how it progressed over time. It was." artists looking at other artists and and not copying them the same way but uh, um assimilating that work and then up, uh, applying it to their own and i'll and i'll draw this right now i'll i'll show you how i can break down this wave right here on my ipad um let's uh let's clear that and I'm going to do this chunk of water. I'm going to do this whole area right here. Um, that bump. And this is right here, what I just did right there, right? I'm not drawing it to the T, but I'm, I'm, I'm taking from that. And, and that little bump here is what tattooers have been doing for so long. We do that little bump right there, you know, like, like it, 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 it's there because we don't know, you know, why did he do that? He probably saw that, you know, um, uh, and, but aesthetically it looks cool. Hmm. Um, and then I'm going to bring over here. Now, this part. So there's another question, just wondering if that at one point you would be able to show, um, explain how you create the backside of the wave. How do I, uh, the backside of the wave? Okay. Um, yeah. uh, well, damn. It's right on point with what I'm doing right now. Um, so the backside of the wave comes from this. The backside of the wave is this. Is it, it, it's the water that's not the white. It's not. The, it's the water that's not the finger wave. Um, um, so, so like if I was to do a wave, um, just by itself, right, coming into the ocean, I would just do it like this. All right, comes it breaks and it just comes down. That's it. That's this right here. You just add a wave right here, and then you just you bring it back. And now I'm going to finish breaking this wave down. You know, so it's.
So everything came from the source, and one of the sources was 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 Kuniyoshi. The backside of the wave is also right here too. See this wave here, and it comes back. That's that. That's that right here. You know, like that's that right here is this right here. You know, like that, this part right here. And now, if I wanted to, oh, well, like, you know, this is just, now that, now that I drew this, this looks like, without this, without this huge monster fish right here, right, it looks, it looks like this is suspended water. It can look like that, but if I added, a, if I added the fish here, then it, it works. But if I took it out, what would I do? I would, uh, I would just bring in water jumping around in the ocean, you know? water at sea just really you know and this is something i was showing before but i could but i can i can i can just apply it to this drawing and then it still connects and then this is the current coming in and i'm gonna just bring this off of that oh god that's amazing uh, I wouldn't say that. It's what are you less talking bad, about, man. Less bad than my earlier ones. Oh man, that looks great. That that wave in the middle, interacting with the main one. That's you, that right there. That's amazing. That that yeah, that's just great. What are you talking about, man? Well, okay, it's it's less bad. Oh, I am gonna do this all week. I'm I'm telling you because uh, I don't think that. Anybody can reasonably expect to make progress from an hour of drawing, right? Um, so I'm hoping that uh, by the end of the week, uh, and, and yeah, maybe uh, you could, uh, if you have any links for references that you would recommend we look at, like, uh, you know, it looks like you're getting out books, and obviously it's hard for us to have access to all those books, but yeah, Kuniyoshi or any of these other. You know, we've we've got like a nice Hokusai calendar hanging up in the house, and uh, I could just—that's oh, all you need. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that Hokusai, that if it has if it has the waves, um, you know what? Here we go. Uh, this is a good this is a good way to look up. Um, I, I would look up uh, rare Hokusai waves. I spelled rare wrong. There we go. I'm nervous. I'm sorry. You're amazing. Mm. People, people are definitely enjoying it in the comments. And I gotta say, I'm already feeling this. Have a this right here is a monster. <laughs> uh, this right here is a beast. I, I hate pinster, man. God damn it. It's taking everything. Um, there we go. Right. Uh, the uh, here we go. And um, remember the one I did earlier? And, and th this is a prime example of this rock right here on this mount, this cliff, the trees and the waves. Dad, I, I looked at this a full year. Mm. This full is Hokusai year. here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is Hokusai. You know, this is this, this is this is. I I kind of this and the Great Wave is side by side for me because this shows you his his his. Oh man, I can't. Even, I can't. The, the, any the chance power. you kind of any chance you can kind of zoom in on that bottom part so we could see a little closer. Yeah. Look at the, look at there that. There we go. Nope. Look at so 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 somebody was all talking about stacking. All right, I, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna trace. I'm gonna. I traced this numerous times, and then one day I was like, "Well, I'm gonna how do?" And and I I traced this, and I said, "All right, uh, let me just draw it from memory." And I drew it from memory, um, but it wasn't the same. Um, um, but then I was like, "Well." Kiyosai must have looked at this. 
because kill size water has a lot of this. Oh. Has a lot of this. Has a lot of this right here. Just this motion and then how these waves curl over. See? Like and and he and and Hokusai now didn't just do, you know, um he stacked it. You know, there's one here, and then he came back. So it, was, so it was one, two, three stacks coming out at you. You know, if you uh, want, oh my God, come on, stop it. Stop. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. This guy's a beast. And 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 uh, the reason again uh, the reason why some uh, um, why do we change the direction um, again Hokusai was looking at nature where I was saying earlier looking at nature and he drew this he was on a and if you could look at the angle of this he's on a cliff looking at this interaction mm. because he's on a cliff that's why there's a city in the back. Mm-hmm. That's that that that's what he was doing. He was like he's like a painter back in the day. Um, like what you, you see painters right now at the beach and they'll just draw a shoreline. Well, Hokusai was out there when it was a storm. This is this is a storm. That's why the trees look blurry because the the, the trees are blowing, and and he was out there with a sketchbook, and he sketched that. Wow. And 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 you you can see that this main one comes in. And there's another one. This this one comes in over here, and it's and it's and it, and, it, and it's uh, uh, this could be this is perfect biomech if you if you if you if you wanted to do it. This would be something going on someone's arm, a huge hook, you know, and then another hook coming out from behind that. And look, this hook over here comes, and it's somewhat it's kind of breaking this main hook, you know. So it's like I I I see that and and. And again, um, what I was saying with um, scales, do you see the scales here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can almost blur your eyes and imagine the negative areas being uh, a serpent underneath water or something like that. Yeah. And you can do the scales in any which way you want. I should have started off like this, but this is how you break down water. And he did it here again. I can't remember there was a tattoo where they said, "Well, Japanese artists they just they, um, he, he didn't he didn't understand uh, why artists water could just come out of nowhere. No, water doesn't just come out of anywhere." There's a there's a feng shui to it. They, they, we're, we're understanding um, we're understanding that it it, it it comes from a force. There's a there's there, there, it's not an imaginary force. It's what what you would see if you went to the beach, or even, not even that. If you look at a waterfall, you know the, the the force of water would come down, and and when it hits that surface, it splashes up, right. It defies gravity for a minute. It splashes up and the gravity pulls it back down. So it goes up and it comes down. That's basically what goes up must come down. That's the half circle. Yeah. Well, okay. So, so what I'm trying to do here, and I guess uh, I'm not oh, sure that's, what. That's perfect. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, okay. So people, are there people who are tuned in right now? I'm, I'm not sure. You know, if, if they're following this lead too, or, you know, if this is too general, but I'm just trying to take that, that big arc with a lot of things fanning off the back of it, you know, and, Wait, and uh, God, can you zoom in guy? Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Um, that's amazing. Well, well, pull the image up. Yeah. yeah again, great. it's less bad. Uh, but yeah. Right, so so see can you, how there's the big arc and then can you, can you do this to the, can you do this to the image? Can you um tap it like so like 
Can you can you shrink it onto the white like that? Um. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Um. <laughs> Is this what you're talking about? Yeah. All right. So now, 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 uh, now, um, now, like, uh, yeah, take it out the box. Just leave it just like that. That size. Yep. Now, see how you have, oh, go back, go back. Now, you see how you have that part that comes up like that? And then, and it's, and it's, and it's breaking. Yeah. Just, at th this spot right here, just bring a wave up. Okay, all right. Half an inch, so we, like a half. We need to uh, basically just keep going. There you go. That might be too much. No, that's perfect. The, the biomech uh, artist in me is like, what's the biggest spike I can put there? It's like, whoa, yeah, yeah, whoa, yeah. That's, that's it. Whoa. That's it. So when you do that spike, when you do that spike like that, right? All you're doing now, you're going to work on that spike. That that spike is the guiding line. Is that is is that that spike is that is that uh, half circle? Okay, gotcha. And then off the back of that, we're and then off the back of that, and you just keep doing that. And you and you're thinking of and, and and you think think of it as a thumbnail too because you're you're the you're you're drawing it and, and you, you kind of squint your eyes and look at it and then you can um there you go that's perfect well erase, I'm just a, little bit, to... erase a little bit of that back and erase that uh, go back down to your right that one hook that's right there you erase that one and see that next hook that's underneath that. Yeah. Put a hook. Put a hook off of that. In this. Okay. Now here we're moving in this direction. So this is one of the things that. Yeah. That, see that what, other see question what you just did. Been, yep. See what you just did when you did that. Now do mm -hmm. now when you have that hook, do another hook off of that, like a smaller one, like so you're, because it's perfect. That's perfect. Then do smaller oh. hooks. Small. Just do yep. smaller yep. hooks. Yeah, bro. There you go. And then so here's that, that, that last hook, then do one there. And then and now you just now you just do a, a huge half circle like that off Boom. of these. And that's it. Okay, so I think uh one of the earlier questions had to do with the, this reversal. Of course, all of these splashes are pointing in this direction here, in the opposite direction here. We come to a point at this zone where we have to reconcile that, right? It's yeah. almost as if you're drawing a dragon and you realize you've done the scales in two different directions. It's like, how do you right. reconcile that, right? Right. And I know it's water, so it's fluid. It's not like a dragon where you definitely are screwed once you've done that. And 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 what you just did right now kind of reminds me of that Hokusai. It's just flip backwards. If I was to take it right now and then flip it, look at that. Look, you got that little water here, which is the what you got there. You got the water over here. You got these. You, you know, you can actually you you can actually do like like it literally like if you look at that space, is that space in you have in between the hook over here and the hook over there? And that's it, man. Like all all of it is there. It's like you've been doing it for so long. I don't. I, it's just it's just. It's just realizing it, and and it, shit, shit. I heard this joke one time. I don't know if it was true, but uh, it was Jack Rudy. He was drawing um, Celtic knots, the whole thing, and then somebody said, "Oh, all you gotta do just do half of it and mirror it." And he was like, "Yo, I've been doing this the, this way the whole time, but it's great because it's just you know." And, and all artists, we you know, we, that realization happens. I, I I watch a lot of comic book artists. They talk about it. Jim Lee talks about it. He's been doing comic books for thirty years, and you know, it's, it's a it's a great learning experience because it's just it's 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 yeah, you got it, man. That's dope. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to refine it a little bit now, and this is where I start to lose my sense of it looking like a legitimate Japanese wave, you know. Uh, 
the more specific I get with it is is when it starts to just look like me all over again. Okay, so like, um, so I, what I will do, what, what happens with me, I see like the wave I'm doing right now. Um, I'm gonna, sh- I'm gonna drop the open. I'm gonna, I refine it three or four times. I don't, I don't, I don't do a tight. Um, and, and these are the steps I do. So like, if this wave is going that way, I will turn the water. I will turn the page on that side. You know, if the if the wave is coming down, I will turn it this way. Or that way, it. I, I will turn it in the direction that is going. You know, if the, this wave is coming down. I'll I'll turn it this way. If the, if the wave is pointing up, I'll point it up so I can, I can add that aggression. And now I'm just going to refine it slightly. I'm not going to refine it like I'm going to. Um, I'm going to uh, do my final line drawing. But I'm just gonna refine it just a little bit. I'm gonna add the little bumps that I want to add on it. Yeah, I remember once talking to a another artist who was talking about waves and and. Uh, from that conversation, you know, the idea of, of rhythm and variety, you know, where the rhythm is important because, I mean, that's part of, of what makes it look like an attractive drawing, you know, and, and those repetitions in that rhythm are part of the graphic appeal. But then the variety is important too. It can't be too mechanical, you know, it has to still flow and feel kind of organic. So just reminding everybody in the chat or that might not be able to be reading the chat uh, because there's a lot of people talking about how much they're really enjoying it um, and that it's uh, very uh, helpful, but also they're having a tough time. So I just want to remind everybody that there will be replays of this. So if you need to go over it several times to just fully saturate with that, then that will be available. Well, well, uh, everyone to know that I'm having a tough time, just (laughs) FYI. (laughs) <laughs> um what 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 are the what are the tough things that they are, are are they talking about let's see yeah yeah i mean if i would take one wild there. guess it's just getting the waves to feel like they've got a nice character where there's not all those little awkwardnesses you know what i mean and, <laughs> and of course like andre once you've been doing it as much as you have you might get one or two little awkward things that really stand out to you. Then you can kind of iron them out as you go. But if you're like me, the whole thing looks like that. And it, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I get it. I, I mean, I, I, I have five sketchbooks with just a waves. Um, yeah. I lost. I, and then before that I had, I had 10 sketchbooks just of waves and I lost those on the fire. Oh. Um, so yeah, I, um, I had a weird, I had a weird breaking point in my in my career that I had to like really like all right, I love this, I'm gonna keep going because um, losing all my stuff in the fire like really put me on a a crazy path to just to 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 regain my sanity a little bit, you know? Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. Um, but this is something that uh, is is really therapeutic. Um, so uh, again, like I, I, t- I tell people to, uh, look at like what the masters did. Look at, look at, look at Hokusai, look at Kuniyoshi, look at, uh, whole guy, uh, the whole guy, uh, the whole guy school, uh, the, the kennel, the kennel school. Um, there we go. And now I just kind of. Um, 
not really I'm going as fast as possible to rep to kind of like simulate water and I'm not really doing like really refined lines I'm I'm kind of uh um, this is weird right I think that's the sort of little area that a lot of people are having an issue with that crotch the that they call it the V where it comes together yeah I know that's definitely been my one of my bigger things so far so so this is why like this is this is a thumbnail for me this is something small if I was to put this on someone's back I would uh I would do a, I would do a really nice thumbnail um for instance like um let's let's insert a photo all right and and this is something that like if i was to draw her you know like i'm i'm i'm, I'm looking at the the motion right mm -hmm. so i would just make it move with her butt and down her thigh. Nothing really, I just know by looking at like other works from, from other artists, I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but I, I, I work like that. Um, it, nothing, I, I try to keep as much space. Mm -hmm. If you kind of look, there's like, there's a, there's a space here, right? So it doesn't get too thin. Right. Yeah. I, again, like this is, yeah, this is where that mathematical equation comes in. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to Well, something seems to have paused there for you, Andre. I'm not sure, but you're we we. I can't hear you if you are talking. Anymore. Can you hear us? Because you have gone on freeze frame. Yeah. I think we lost him. I'll give him a I'll give him a text. Yeah. Well, I feel like I've been really working out my brain here and, and I hope everyone else uh is uh is not feeling discouraged. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because uh <laughs> you know especially when you watch somebody who can just knock them out and they they flow just right and uh so i'm going to do a little bit of you know straight up copying of the old masters like uh like he recommended that's i think going to be my assignment for tomorrow if i can give this a half hour of my time you know and, and of course it doesn't have to be a lot of time uh but it, by doing a little bit every day, you know, I mean, like I've known people who draw waves on bar napkins while they're, you know, waiting for their drink. It's, it's just uh, something that is almost like a ner nervous habit, you know, and, and you know that you'll uh, stand a chance of improving yourself every time you draw it a little bit. Sorry about that. Oh, no sweat. Yeah, you went freeze frame for a second there. All right, where are we at? Okay. Um, uh, one second. Um, Trevor in the comments is saying if there ends up being time, he'd love to see uh, anything about waterfalls or whirlpools. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Waterfalls are, yeah, that's, that's another interesting way of, of bringing flow into a piece because it, it can kind of cascade in front of things. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, Andre, one, one thing I've been meaning to ask you uh, is if you're familiar with Greg Irons, you know who he is? Yes. Okay. Love Greg Irons. Yeah. He, uh, he, you know, uh, if I've copied anybody at all directly, it's him. And of course he's not doing straight up Japanese. There's, it's definitely got that Japanese influence, but there's a little bit of more of a trippy fractal sort of thing going on in there as well. Yeah. He definitely tapped into a, a different style of, of water. I love his stuff. Um, Grimes showed me a, a, a business card that he had. It was like a folding business card and like the water on it was like so sick. It was uh, come on, man. You're killing me. Okay. Um, here we go. Um, so um, waves but the, the the harmony i think somebody was like the or the rhythm that they were talking about it it, it i i know that i i know that rhythm that they're talking about i i get that part it's 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 again going back to um this hokusai this ho, this hokusai print um there's the the fundamental waves that you, the, the waves that you see a lot of tattooers it comes from one of the fundamental prints that hokusai did you know, this is one of them. Um, again, the, the 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 great wave. This is another one. Oh, come on, man! Is it all on Pinterest? <laughs> it, yeah, so here goes a here goes a whirlpool. Somebody was talking about a whirlpool. I, I want to break down whirlpools and waterfalls also. Awesome. Um, and I could do that for everybody right now. Just all right, here goes a. I don't know what's going on with my um. Wi-Fi. Hold on one second. No worries. Just when I think I've got the world's worst Wi-Fi, it's it's weird. Sometimes people in big cities have it worse. Yeah. Every now and then I'll I'll manage to nail a wave, but then the next thing just looks like a bio hook. So <laughs> I'm just trying to keep going. I'm I've been trying to keep my hands going this whole time. I'm erasing a ton of stuff. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and I think that uh, that's probably going to be my game for for the first couple of days of this this wave week. Yeah, I'm definitely into the wave week. I I can already feel like an improvement, but I can see like if I did this for a week, I might actually know what I was doing to an extent at the end of it. <laughs> yeah, I think part of it is is just you know looking at those classic references, mm-hmm. like Andre is saying. You know, so many tattooers are. Uh, you know, owe their their waves at least partially to these these few you know core kind of references that uh, you know just they're, they're such good breakdowns of water that uh, it's ended up being kind of the foundation. Yeah, like you got everything you need just in those in those two pictures there. Um, someone's wondering about, uh, did you have some masks that have waves on them, Andre? Mask? Yeah. Somebody says they just saw masks with waves. It might have been something from the search uh, and not your actual stuff. So unless you have like wave merch masks. No. <laughs> Let's 
so I'm chewing on something. Um, okay. Uh, this is another perfect changing of directions that you can see in this print. Oh, turn up the light. Um, this is a low res picture, but you can see the, the overall silhouette. Yeah. Um, yeah, at the very top of the waves you're talking about. Yeah, and that this right here is just like this is money right here. That's great. And again, you can see the distance. You know, you can you can see the overall hook. Two hooks over here, maybe three if you want. Like yep. really breaking down everything. And from, and th and this is something that this is where this looks like water coming into the bay because Mount Fuji's in the back and trees right here. So you can see this is waves coming into the bay. This is a, another storm. Um, just by the, the, the angle where he's drawing this, this is, you know, this is before, before photography. So he's drawing it from reference. He's looking at nature. He's, he literally said, oh, this is what I'm seeing. And he's documenting it. Um, same as the, this painting right here down at the bottom. Um, Let's flip this back. Very but, sorry, Andre, but your phone got flipped around in the uh, in the switcheroo there. So it's just uh, now it just needs to be rotated again if that's possible. Needs to be rotated? Yes, please. Just okay. the phone, yeah. <laughs> if it could be just rotated 90 degrees. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Bingo. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't do it on its own either. Thank you. So again, um, so what I'm showing everybody right now is uh, the first part was a circle. Um, again, if you even look at this, this is a, this is something that you can build on. Look at this is a circle right here. Yep. <laughs> you no, know, and all he's doing is working within that that overall shape circle here circle here circle here 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 um here definitely right there and one right there and these are the things that you you, you constantly see tattooers that do japanese style water they 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 bring that flow in, and that's what I that's what I always look at. I look at like, I look at I look at I, I I've looked at this for so long that I don't really look at it anymore. But there's times where I get stumped, and I say to myself, Ah oh, man, you know what? Let me go back to the source. And that happens like probably like every three years. I go back to the source just to see something that you know I didn't see before. Um, and it's probably it might be a a, a um, artist block, but I, I go back to that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, guy, that, that's perfect. Parts of it I like. There's parts of it that are, you know, I'm I'm still struggling with it, but I, I'm getting it. Each drawing is a little bit better. And so you know what, 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 what? Something that one one of the things you got to think low tech. You got to kind of like think low tech, not. Um, um, Regino Gonzalez always told me that it's low tech, you know, like it's 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 it, it's it's going as two D as possible. You're mm -hmm. thinking like, well, if I was a, if if I was a if I, if I was an animator, when you look at cartoons, it's very um, um, graphic. Uh, everything is very graphic. It's it's it's, it's more stripped down than, than you would see in a comic book. Um, there's the, they work with a lot of hard shadows, um, um, not too much detail in the face, but just enough um, overall details that 
it's just it's all about the style that you're looking at. Like, um, one of the, one of my favorite cartoons that I'm watching right that you know I still watch cartoons, but um, is is Young Justice and all that stuff is um American um animators that ad- adapted Japanese style animation to refine their work. And so, like, that's kind of like the road that I've gone with with Japanese. It's, it's very low tech. If, if you if you just want to do it, it, and 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 that's what that, that's why it has so much power in its work. Um, and that's where like st- stuff like that. I try to go as low tech as possible, but have some type of Western flair to it. But it's just it, it's, it's low tech. It, the 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 um stuff like this where I've done you know like this is still. I, I'm 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 mixing Kyosai with um Kano school waves. Um and it has like this weird kind of flair to it. Uh, that's kind of like the road I'm on I'm on right now. Um so now like when I'm refining when I'm refining my um my work I kind of uh you know um I'll just I'll blow this up a little bit, make it a little bit larger. Bam, there you go. Um, and I feel like I want my water to look as much. I want my war. I want my lines to look as as like if Kiyosai. No, Kuniyoshi drew it. And we've got another question in the uh, comments wondering if you have any advice about uh, like little droplets of water coming off of the waves. Oh, yeah, you can do that if you want. Yeah, the, um, the thing I've noticed with that is when I'm really bad at like the worse I am at drawing waves, the more of those I tend to use. You know, it's like <laughs> I'm falling back on it. But then I notice people as good as Hokusai. I mean, he definitely used some of those little splashes. You just don't want to rely on them. Yeah, I, 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 I tattooing, tattooing wise, if I'm using a mag. I'm blasting. I'm like like that. I'm just going into it. And, and if there's a, if there's a, if there's a, if there's a, uh, if there's a droplet, it kind of takes away from it. Mm-hmm. Unless, unless now, if I was gonna do waves, it's probably gonna be these huge, big, chunky waves. Like if I did like some Philip Lou style waves. Then I'll, I'll probably do like those droplets because then I can, it's big enough that I can work around with a mag, with a 15 or a, a 27 mag. But mm-hmm. when it's like smaller waves on the arm, um, if it's like a smaller style waves, um, where it's this many finger waves, nah. But if I was gonna do like the the style like it, like Philip does, or if I if I was to do a style like um, the Candle Candle School style of water, I would probably do those little droplets but it depends on the style of um japanese water that i'm, I'm i, I want to adopt to a piece there's a there's a there's a bodysuit that i'm working on right now and it's mainly um kennel school style and there's a bodysuit that i'm working on right now it's kiosai style so it's, it's these different styles of water that i'm um, i'm using um uh not not the direct 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 style, but I, I'm it's it's I'm 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 taking from it, and I, I'm kind of using my own you know my own hand to it, my own eyes. Mm-hmm. It's mesmerizing just to watch you when you're going there for a while. I gotta enlarge it more. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of rhythm and and. Uh the reason you're able to draw it so fast is clearly you've done it enough. You know, it's kind of like when a musician can play a rhythm on, on their instrument. Right. And, I, and, and, the, and the reason why I, I, when I align it, it seems a little bit faster because I'm trying to, 
if I go too slow, then it's going to be a little too shaky. But so I have to keep this, mm-hmm. this speed that conveys um, this water's speed. You know, it, 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 the final line has to uh, match that, you know. And then this point, I'm picking which lines I want to ju- I, w- I want to do. Um, everything is kind of like a guideline. So yeah, I've I've got three or four drawings that I haven't deleted from tonight, and I don't That's think good. any of them. I don't think any of them are marvelous, but they're like I said, less bad than than uh, waves I've drawn in the past. And I'm gonna try to knock out this one more. At which point I may have to uh, call it a night pretty soon. Um, and, you know, if, if the rest of you are able to stay on and you want to keep going, um, I hate to duck out, uh, but uh, I also don't want to be the one that ends the party. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, next same time next week, uh, I, would, I would like to be way better at waves. And so I'm extending this challenge to anyone else in the group who wants to, uh, I'm going to try to post a wave drawing a day. Um, and they're going to be loose and I'm probably going to draw most of them analog because I just have a feeling I'd struggle a little bit less if I were drawing on paper but I'm also glad I'm doing this because it's uh it's allowed me to erase more (laughs) (laughs) I can do this next week you want to come uh, rejoin us next week yeah okay well then then let's let's count on that because this is this has been great this is uh you know, I think a lot of a lot of us. I know I'm not the only one here. Is is feeling a little bit like, oh man, you know, uh, I wanted to do better tonight. But uh, uh, you know, if if we actually challenge ourselves to uh, improve in a week, and uh, I, f- I feel like I've improved just tonight, just just in these these few drawings, and in all the erasing. Um, and I'm definitely going to look at these Hokusai references a lot closer. Um, are there any other artists that you would recommend we look at? Uh, any other tattooers whose waves you, you would uh, uh, you particularly admire? Um, um, oh man, uh, of course Philip, Mick, yeah, um, Chris Brand. Okay. He's in LA. Um, there's Espy also. Oh yeah. Um, um, Drew Flores. Uh, Regino, Regino Gonzalez. Um, uh, Tomo Horitomo. Um. I mean, there's so many different styles. Uh, uh, Shige, Shige has a, a very distinct style. It reminds me of um, it reminds me of uh, the Cano School water. Um, I can't remember the the, the 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 actual artist from Cano School, but it's a it's a his his water is really great. Um, there's someone in the uh, comments wondering how you spell. Uh, that word that you were saying, kennel school? Kennel school. Perfect. Uh, Kennel. Kennel. 
Kalen Hogai. Um, and uh, Guy uh, Gabe was mentioning bringing some people in on Zoom, so I'm wondering if uh, now would be a good time to do that. Or yeah, if anyone else wants to to hop on now, let's see some of the drawings that, that you guys have been doing. I can stick around for a few a uh, few more minutes, and uh, yeah, like to see that um, I'm not the only one struggling here. Um, mm -hmm. Hold on, who, who else? You know, Weedo, the Marvel. All right. We know the Marvel has great water. Um, um, Tomo Silk Needle, Tomo, just Tomo Silk Needle. Turn mine on here. Um, who else? Um, Oh God! People, whoever watch, please. Uh, if I missed, if I missed your name, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you know, I hate people being put on a lot spot of like that. Once, <laughs> once you start listing names, you feel like you you gotta list everyone that that deserves it. And of course, there's a lot, a, man. There's a lot of great. Yeah. Tech, there's a lot of great, great Japanese artists. Um, and I met them. Um. Of course, Horiyoshi the Third. His word is classic. I mean, he he he's gone through I think four stages of different type of water. Um, Greg Irons, you could if you could find Greg Irons water. That's that's perfect. Um, uh, the Dutchman. Oh yeah. Um, um just as people are entering the zoom if you if this is your first time just make sure that you mute any tabs uh or else we're going to have some uh that sorry mute any tabs that are playing the live stream otherwise we'll have some feedback yeah basically the uh whatever window you are watching this from make sure it's muted when you actually join the zoom call or we'll get that echo 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 thing <laughs> We've just had Matt Jackson join us. Nice. Yeah, one, one thing that uh, I think I've gotten out of tonight's session also is is that flip, the way that, that waves change directions and flip. I feel like I'm able to draw that a lot better uh, uh -huh. than, than earlier. So, yeah, I, I definitely have made some concrete uh improvement grimes water i'm gonna just oh, name yeah. people grime <laughs> uh i can't forget grime i love grime utaro such energy and grime is another artist who has has also done bio uh and uh in fact when when he and aaron uh did this uh sleeve on me i don't know if we can see it in this uh terrible lighting but they started with a splash. Yeah, I, I asked them to start with like a splash of water here and then kind of mech it out. And that's how they created that movement there. So, yeah, I mean, we deliberately and specifically uh, used some, uh, some Japanese wave action because I like that energy and I wanted to see it incorporated. Uh, Sick. Um, Matt Shama. That's a lot, man. There's a lot. So many artists, man. So many artists. Uh, um, and here I'm just going to play. And at this point, I'm like, well, you know, the water is getting this high up. I'm going to make it stretch a little bit. And I just, you know, I, I'm going to elongate some areas and So Trevor in the uh, comments is saying, thanks, Guy and Andre. Time for me to uh, cut out as well. This was very helpful. I got a few tricks added to my belt. Nice. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, art 
Yeah, art, um, you know, my client, he's a mathematician and he says art is a mathematical equation. So you're not just, you're not just, we're not just uh, drawing just to whatever. We, you know, you, you use like, well, how many drops of ink do I make, do I drop in? That's math. It's like one, two, three. Once you start counting, it's a mathematical equation. <laughs> and waves are the same thing too. You work in threes. Um, sometimes, you know, like it, 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 it it's like that. So, um, circles um uh, uh circles and half circles are um something that you're going to be using a lot in japanese work um, a lot of shapes circles squares rectangles um tiny circles all day long you're doing tiny circles when you're <laughs> tattooing you know touche this is true Yeah, I mean, I definitely think of, of color, color and contrast as being, being kind of like math, and uh, you know all the important things about composition. They've got you know these formulas, you know the the rule of thirds and the you know the Fibonacci, you know spiral, the you know the kind of golden ratio, and and these are kind of like you know mathematical ways of looking at human perception and and what what looks attractive to a, our eye yep and we, we artists we artists are always trying to crack that code <laughs> it's our mission <laughs> so we've got quite a few people on zoom now Nice. All right. Who else have we got? We've got Matt Jackson, Jess, Jason Leeser. We've got Leo Gonzalez. We've got Tavon who's returned. Um, Jason Blanton. I can't see uh, yet. Not sure if that's on purpose. And yeah, that's what we've got so far. All right. Waves are looking cool. Oh, and Rob is in. Uh, he's been sending me texts. And he had some pretty cool waves going on. Owen, oh. Owen Griffin, Griff, Griff. <laughs> he's in Australia. He's great. His oh, Evan Griff. Are you thinking Evan Griffiths? Evan, Evan, yeah, yeah. Evan. Evan is uh, he's he's super awesome. He's a, he's another both Japanese and bio artist. Uh, actually, he's got work in the Biomech Encyclopedia. But yeah, his Japanese stuff is very, very spot on. I love his stuff. Um, Ivan Sazazi. That's a sweet name. Um, oh, so yeah, I would love to see some other people's drawings. I'm just going to show off my five real quick. Uh, okay. When I say show off, it's not like I'm so proud of my five <laughs> drawings. But, you know, I think that uh, just so everyone else can feel good about theirs. Um, yeah, here they are. Um, that was great. Sandra? Yeah, so that's the first one. And, you know, it's got this flip twist. Uh, and, you know, I've been enjoying doing that in most of these. Here's this one that I, uh, I was looking directly at that Hokusai wave. And, uh, and I'm going to do more of these, except it won't be on a small screen. I'll be able to look at it a little more closely. This one, it was off to a good start when it was loose. I really liked how this crests here. But once I came back to it and refined it, it went to crap. And uh, oh yeah, and then this last one here, which is this one, and I do like the different directions. I feel like I've I've picked up a little bit of that, the whole back part of the wave here. I like. I do think that this is my best drawing of the night, although it's still, uh, it's still awkward, you know. But uh, by by this this time next week, <clears throat> uh, I I hope to be able to feel a lot better about these. So um, okay, who's next? Great. Who's next? Right. Let's get Bruno on here. Bruno, I've got yours on there. And uh, right. Litos just popped in on the chat as well. Oh, right on. Got a good group here tonight. Mm -hmm. So who's, is, is this Sandy's sketchbook here? This okay, Sandy's here's Bruno's, yeah. All right. Yeah, Sandy, that's great. That's great stuff. Thanks, man. What's your favorite drawing on the page there? Me? Yep. 
You asking me? You asking, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna. I well, no, no, I was I'm asking Bruno. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I was asking Bruno since since I was just going through my drawings and I know which ones I feel better about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know the. I really like the flow of the uh, very first uh, C like exercise that we were doing. Yeah. Uh, and I was thinking about using the rest of the space of the sheet to uh, to do like a large version of it right over here. Uh, I just really like like the way that, that how aggressive it is and wanted to replicate like a a large version of that. But yeah, uh, I guess I, I would circle. say I like this one the best, the way that this kind of uh, crashes into the the rock and... yeah so yeah that's that that's a perfect example i was talking about using um understanding like that to me that looks like water coming from behind the rock and it just hits it just right you know i tell everybody go to the beach yeah. go to the beach and, and look at how water interacts with even the pier of uh if you're staying on the pier and see how the water hits the the beams <laughs> perfect perfect um reference yeah then, then you got people like me who are in the middle of the continent but uh there's there's <laughs> reference know. photos cool yeah. thank you bruno who's next uh, thank you um so yeah. yeah i was just doing it in pencil which felt nice um and i think i'm on the same page i like this sleep situation but i think i was on the same page as bruno that first one i just really got into the little uh the big c with the little c i love the self-contained aspect of it because the wave problem can get so complex and that just simplifies it yes so was, yeah i might i might start out with one of those every day just to you know yeah. keep myself from kind of going off the deep end going crazy no, no one <laughs> All right. Even uh, somebody mentioned a waterfall earlier, right? And I, yeah. uh, that's not on the show. Um, and this is from a print. I can. Um, hold on. That's eight and a half. Five, Let's do a waterfall. I got another book here. <laughs> so I think Matt Jackson, I'm gonna add to you on the You were able to get your iPad uh, lined up there, Matt. So, Sandy, I'm actually going to have to split real soon. I was hoping to see the rest of these drawings. Yeah. I don't mean to rush the process. I well, have I've a got, child uh, sitting on me right now. <laughs> I've got the <laughs> Matt Jackson on here now. Um, oh, I miss my kids. Oh. So, Matt, what's your favorite? One uh, so, I've got started just a bunch of thumbnails and then kind of went off like which one I liked the most, which was ended up being this one. So right now I'm kind of just building off of that one. Oh yeah, there you go. Got the rhythm and variety. Yeah, I really like the uh, the big C starting with the circle. It's kind of where I started with this one, and that kind of helps. Yeah, yeah it seems to be everybody's got that <laughs> enjoys that big C. It's a good trick. Yeah, 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 that was great. great. I That's think that was really helpful. Yeah, I yeah. think that all of us have got that oh. take home. <laughs> um, and then we've got Jake. You know, like, th this is from... Um, Sogo Hokun. Sogo Hokun, right? This is... This is just ridiculous. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, like, That's a cool one, right? And again, and again, he's he's doing he's doing basically he's doing something that it's I, I don't think a lot of tattooers even seen this how they tapped into that like again he's doing C formations and really doing chunky chunky finger waves. I see I see guy Philip Philip definitely is looking at this. 
like, <laughs> like I, I know for a fact. I I studied Phillips work, and I can see that. Like he, this guy, did a wave in mist, and you know, like stuff like that. I love. I love this stuff, you know. And the and the break that down again. It, it's again the break that down. It 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 is it's, it's an exercise in itself, but. Um, who was that again? Um, Soga Nikahu. Um, I, I'll spell it. Uh, Soga. Niho Kun. A beautiful name. Um, Andre, how do you feel about going through everybody's uh? waves for a minute and then um and then guy uh said he has to i am gonna out. have to peel away here um and and then we can kind of do a yeah, little no problem I can, I can do that awesome oh yeah yeah I, and i i'm sorry i have to miss the waterfall part but yeah I, I know that people are real curious about that now i'll have a chance to watch the recording later oh, and right. uh yeah everyone just so you know this is going to be actually uh, embedded in the uh, flow chapter of, of reinventing because this is such a fundamental thing. Minus minus the child disruptions, of course. Hey, Kai, you almost kicked the plant there. Um, uh, Jason, uh, Jason's waves on people, red ones. <clears throat> and which are these? Your yeah, ones? see, that's everybody's waves are great. I mean, what Guy just did, I, I, I like guys. It's, so I remember Phil Holt told me this, you know, like water isn't uh, water isn't a set style, you know, mm -hmm. but there's a refineness, like there's a refineness, the style that you go for, but really refine it. And then the, the fundamentals, once you learn the fundamentals, I think, which is Hokusai Kuni, and um, Kuniyoshi, then it's easier to branch off to do everything else because once you're you have all the physics down, which is like how gravity affects water, then you can manipulate it in any which way you want and really make it look well and how you make it work within a space. Um, uh, Jason's are like that. Has yeah, a lot of energy. That's, that's, that's a really nice weapons. drawing. Yeah, I, I try to take a little bit more of a. Um, almost like a Euro Japanese style to it. Um, something I picked up along the way. Yeah. So, cause you can really like notice a distinction in just waveforms. If you look at people that are based solely in Europe and then people that are based in the U S and then people that are based in Japan itself, like you can really start to pick up on certain tiny little aspects here and there that just really change the way that they they flow and they morph and um, just the amount of energy and how dynamic they can be. All right. And then we've got uh, Tavon. I've got you in there on the spotlight there. Yay. How's it going, everyone? Nice. Is this your favorite one? What's that? Is this your favorite uh, one that you've done tonight? Uh, yeah, I pretty much just worked on this one. Actually, I, I started another one, but this was, yeah. Oh, nice. Just a bunch of scribbles. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I've never felt like I was that that great at doing the traditional Japanese waves. So I I, I really like this. Uh, this is this is a fun one for me. For sure. Um... And then we've got uh, Leo Gonzalez is here. Thanks, Tavon. Hey. Yeah. So I was just wondering, um, this is a drawing that I uh, was been working on the last several days. Uh, it's going to be a, it's a design for my wife's leg. I know wow. it's not traditional Japanese waves, but I decided to try to take a different approach to water. Um, I know it looks kind of flamey right now because it's red, but if you can imagine, I guess the idea behind it was uh, kind of how you would have uh, wind bars or, or wave the, the bars on waves, um, utilizing that and those gradations. But uh, if you look closer, there's some, you know, areas with some bubbles and some little 
kind of frothy areas and uh, was going to try to, you know, utilize that as water. And I was just wondering if I could get a input or a, what you thought of that. Um, it's kind of out, out of focus. Oh, is it? I guess I'll try to zoom in better, closer. Can you see it? Uh, crazy. Yeah. Um. So again, not. I mean, completely different approach from from. Japanese waves, but just something different that I was trying out. Yeah, I mean, you can see the Japanese influence in there, but yeah, you, you've gone off in a... Yeah, it's a different know. style. I mean... Um, sure. So my, I would say keep it... If, it, if it's something... Hmm. I, well, how I want to say this. Well, if it's because it looks like it, it looks more like clouds, and it mm -hmm. looks like an aquatic. It's a dragon. Yeah, it's like a sea serpent. Yeah, I would. To me, my my taste, I would just obey like, kind of like how nature is, and just keep it water, um, and keep it how. Uh, it's like its own habitat, so it would be in something that's in water, um, because you don't really see that much interaction with the background. It looks like it's in front of the in front, like it's behind the the background is behind it, mm -hmm. like kind of interacting with the belly up top. Um, mm -hmm. It's a great design. That's it's sick. I like I like it. I like it a lot. Thanks. Yeah, it's dope. Um, Keep it. I would keep it more in in water. Make it make it look like water. I would make it, it the style of water that you want to do it in. Um, I uh, but this overall is a great design. Going from a lower leg or is the whole leg? Whole leg. Yeah, it's like kneecap, hip, and and there's and there's more uh, background in there than will be utilized on the actual tattoo. Um, you know, this, this back end is going to cut in over here a bit. Um, Holy smokes, that's a big piece. Yeah, it's a full, full leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I was just trying to, uh, <laughs> trying to go from a different approach because I, I do do a lot of a Japanese water and backgrounds and I just was looking to do something a little a, a, a different approach, a little more psychedelic. Right, but, I get right, right. but I get what you're saying. Yeah, I, I mean, I think the 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 the, the path I'm I'm kind of on now. I'm I'm really working on like um. Let's say like this. Like, say if this is her. Uh, say this is her leg. It's the mm -hmm. only way I could do is just really show it to you. This is the curve of butt line, right? So like, this is the leg. This is the kneecap here. And say this is the serpent and it's moving. The background, right? It's gonna have a dominating start. Do you want it to move this way? Or do you want it to move that way? Usually I have it moving that way. Right? So it's moving. So everything kind of starts. Let's say like the water is this way. I'll have the water go up. Or it it can It could be, let's say, like this. Um, I'm only seeing like half of your screen. Sorry about that. Um, oh, half of my screen. All right. So let's say it's like that. I'll do like this really crazy. I'll do like a whirlpool. Sorry, last one. Right. 
And then Serpent's body is here. And then I'll just do some splashes coming off of that. And I'll never let this part of the background go over here. Everything starts from here. And I'm and then when it, and then when it's time for you to put the stencil on there wraps, everything uh -huh. wraps. Everything starts from here and it wraps around just right. And it should meet on this side. And you probably are gonna have a if you have overlap, that's cool. If it doesn't meet up, you can always just draw the rest of it on. But sure, you, sure. but you want you want like if it's a body this is the thing about a bodysuit, right? This is someone's legs, but All right. The you always in, in Japanese style tattoos, it everything mm. starts from the back and it wraps it wraps around. And it same thing goes for if you were to chop it and start any which way, it's the it's it's this part would be if this was the right leg or the left leg, this is most likely the left leg because the kneecap over here back of the blah 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 blah, mm -hmm. right? So yep. it, all the background. <laughs> Would if I was design if 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 I was to chop it up, most likely my background would be coming from here anyway. So your background, this is the butt crack. This is where the thigh meets the butt. This is the inside. So the background is starting from here and is moving its way up. So have all the background starting from this side, pushing in. And then when it wraps around, as you're putting the stencil on, because this is the knee, this is the shin, you know, like that whole thing, everything will wrap. Mm -hmm. Everything will have a cohesive wrap. Mm -hmm. And then whatever doesn't meet up and whatever overlaps, it will, it will, uh, it will have like a, a, a very smooth motion. Um, because it's just, it's just a, it's just that formula. It's just, it's just the way it is. Um, same thing on the, uh, if it was, if it was the, uh, the opposite way around, right? Um, again, um, it, it, it flips around. Right? Mm -hmm. This is the right leg. You start the background from here. Sometimes, if you want, you can start the background from the inside, you know. But if the, depending on like the composition that you want the subject and subject matter to be in. Um, I would keep it water and serpent, and because it just that that those 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 shapes that you're using have a very cloud a cloud like look to it, not sure. a water flow style style look. So I'm really trying uh -huh. to say, not not I don't want to sound like in a, a discouraging way, but um, no, 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 I I get I totally get it. Right on. Um, okay, I'm cool. Gonna Thanks for your input. Yeah, man. But it's a great design. It's, 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 it's awesome. Thanks, man. Um, Jason, I've got you on there if you'd like to show your favorite uh, waves that you did tonight. It's Jason. So, you, sorry. <laughs> uh, so I've got two. Uh, first one. Nice. That's good. That's great. Um, That's all the fundamentals in it, you know. But that was, that was like a real quick. I, I just joined and then like tried to catch up, and then this one is more of like trying to take it a little bit slower and feel more of the the organic flow of it. So. Um, something that uh. I, I, I was saying before is um, I'm working within a shape, right? Let's say like this. We're gonna, instead of working in a, in a circle, I'll work in a square, right? But I'm gonna still work from this point. And this is something that like I've done before, you know? Um, now, uh, Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is a, this is a cool little stack. Mm, let's see like that. Stack effect. So foreground water, you know, and then uh, I just build another one. Okay. 
Yeah, that's it. You know. So I'm not. Don't don't try and refine anything. Just just go with it. Go go. Even hold the pencil in a way that it's uh it is very loose. This is tight is close to the nib. Loose is you know you just you going loose. But some control, you know. Yeah, sure. And you're just doing half circles throughout the whole thing. That's it. And now there's space. See this? See that? Because what I did was before. What, what what did I do before? I all I did was I drew with enough space in between. All right. Whenever you stack in waves, don't have them too close together. So again, I could go. I could just do it again and. And then again, so I don't even want to do this line. I just, man, eh, I take it out. And now it, that line that I took out left enough, left enough space. There's gonna be something really cool to do. And this is what you see in a lot of the Hokusai, Kuniyoshi, even a lot of stuff that you see, like a lot of European guys do, like Philip Mick. Um, Guys like um, Mike Roper, that's in Arizona. Um, you know, all those guys is, is what is what the industry calls um, European style, right? But it's not really European style. It's still Japanese. Like it's the, you know, um, it's where they, it's where it's where it originated from. It's where I always take my my um, reference from. You know, so then all you do is just again double double line it, right? And even little bumps like that, it's not pretty long, it's just a little bump. <clears throat> and those things are just setting you up for really cool effects in the long run. And before I was saying the, this back bump here, this, that comes from Kuniyoshi and Hokusai. And you can already see like the weight of this central part of the water that I try to keep in there. <clears throat> um, again, I'm gonna, do this part right here. I don't like this little wave right here. I just use this as a as a guiding line, but I could just work right off of that. Because if I did that little wave right here, it'll be like a little bit too much of a tight pin. So I just bring this out here. And I'm just gonna double line everything. All right. All right. And then, and sometimes, you know, it can also help if you were doing water like this, you know, and uh, this is a trick. Um, you could use like a really fat brush, All right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Sketch, fat, fat brush, right? And this is already gonna, it's like using a Sharpie now, right? I, back in the day when I was trying to develop water, I would use a Sharpie marker. That's a little too thick. And this is gonna give you just fat waves. So this is this is like a tracing effect. You can just use, oh, what the hell? See that? Now all you got to do is just follow the line that you make <clears throat> and this can help you with developing this this helps you from keeping your water your finger waves just right the thickness that you need oh uh, i'm sorry everything is slowly coming back to all these tricks i used to do back in the day this helps you with the thickness that you need when you're gonna actually line and i'll show you what i mean um This is a cool trick. There you go. So you're actually foreshortening uh, what's what's in the foreground to the background. Yes. <clears throat> and this is this will give you this is set you up for doing like ridiculous finger waves like that. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Oh, this is 
now you're playing with power when you do this shit. See, and then look, and, <laughs> and now when you, you see the stack effect, yeah, look how aggressive, look how aggressive that that water is, you know. And this this is like cool training. This is a, this is a really cool training wheel effect. And then you know you can bring a bar, and you don't want this line because now this you're thinking about what I'm thinking about now is when I'm tattooing this, I don't want the line too close because this is what this is aging effect. Bam, right? You just do one line. You don't have to do double line anything because this 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 brush hair is super thick. And then you can chisel what you want. And if you want a double line, it gives you like an even aggressive look. Bam, right? So now you got that. Oh my God! I done gave y'all the money shot. This is right here. This is the this is the winner. Yeah, that's a that's a trick and a half right there. All right, and then you just now it goes back to the train um to uh tracing it. Now you do is just trace it. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's that's a. I feel like that's going to be a good exercise for um, the week. People can have now. If you and if you want, you can, you can, you can make it thin or thick, any which way you want. Mm -hmm. You want to keep it that thick. You want to put that little bump. And this is something that I used to tell myself, no line, no line is a mistake. You know, no line is a mistake. It's just stepping back and looking at it. So something I noticed tonight is that um, when I normally draw finger waves, I'm usually drawing it right on the person. And I'm, I'm using the organic shapes of their body, uh, you know, to pull out the, the directions and um, you know, kind of like the the, the gravity flow, um, and I'm I'm not used to drawing them on paper on a square sheet. This is great, showing this showing this like square. Look at that! So awesome. That's just that part. Man, I'll use this little thing I made over here. I'll just do that. Or I'll just oh. Yeah, this this technique seems to like kind of bypass the whole double lining. It's like it tells you where it would end up being double lined. There you go. <laughs> this is the sharpie marker trick. Take a mm -hmm. sharpie marker, um, preferably yellow or orange, mm -hmm. um, on a vellum piece of paper. You could kind of do that on 
if you were trying to just draw straight onto the skin as well, I guess, with a Sharpie. Yep. And then you take one of those uh, ballpoint pens or yeah. those, um, one of those pens that Tim Hendricks makes. Mm -hmm. And then there oh, you go. That's, that's epic. That is badass, bro. I noticed that everybody stopped stopped drawing and <laughs> glued to this. Glued yeah, to that was a, that's a good one. So when you right. have that, and then you have one, two, three stacks of water, and it started out as a square, but it can be in a circle. Okay. That's perfect. Um, I'm just going right. to show uh, Melissa's, and then we've shown everyone's, and we can kind of just go back to spotlighting you, and you can talk about this or the whirlpools, whatever you're into going into. Um, I'll do the whirlpool next, and and now, like, I'm really comfortable with this now, so then what I would do now, and I'll, <clears throat> and I'll just do, and I'll ink it. Now, the inking is just, the it's like the icing on the cake now, studio pen. Drop the contrast down. Oops. What was that? I've never seen it do that before. Another layer. And like water like this is what I love. You see? And all I did was I did three steps, which was I did a square. I, I did some squid. I did um, streaming lines. And then I did the, after that, those are the three steps of my setup and then I just do the I do the the wireframe which is the finger ways wherever I want them to be at and then after that I after those three steps then the, the next three is double lining it I mean well marker double lining it and now I'm going to uh, ink it And I'm still chiseling in the way too. I'm not keeping it super thick, but I'm. And again, I I I, I turn the paper in the direction that the water is going down, so it's there. It's, it's 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 to me, and all the force I'm putting it in. I'm putting it into my hand. And I'm coming down this way. So I've just got Melissa uh, Sink's uh, stuff spotlighted up here as well. Um, Melissa, what was your favorite uh, out of the exercises tonight? <laughs> nice. I didn't hear her. Yeah, I can't hear her, but she's just pointing at the uh, that one that she's really darkened with the kind of red um, there. Is this a little bit better? Yes, you can hear me. Oh. <laughs> I, I guess the mic's on the other side of the headphone that's not in. Um, yeah, I like that one that you did at the bottom, bottom right. And that's like a good little exercise too. Like, watch this. Like, so I'm going to jack your water, Melissa. <laughs> You can't show, you can't really show Japanese artists like water because then we were like, oh, I want to try that. And that little, little water right there at the bottom. I'll just, so then I'll just do a little square again. And I like that. And I'm just going to be like, you know, and just. And that that's from that Hokusai water, you know? Cause I could just see it, but I kind of like that spine. I've pretty much struggled most. But of the I like the way she it. did that. <laughs> and again, like. All 
I could keep going with it too. Bring the mask out, see? But there you go. Nice. Awesome. Thanks. Like that? All right. Bruno like that a lot. Oh, oh my you know what? Damn, I didn't really I could I could swipe. I realized I forgot that I could swipe left to right. Oh yes. Jason iPad, Jason's doing a rose. Yeah, sorry, that's um I have that in there just in case I want to do like screen sharing for my iPad, but you're actually seeing it on my camera right now. Ah. Yeah. What some uh pen are you using there right now? Andre? I'm using um, Studio Pen <laughs> at 15% uh, brush size. Have you done like some sort of fancy thing about the pressure? No. It's looking so uh, like all these nice little variations I just, in there. No, I just, I just push, I push down when I want to push down and it's just, it's that that helps with that the, the organic look of water, you know. So like I I didn't I this is a stock too I think I did I haven't changed anything everything that you see right now is stock I haven't made my own brushes yet. There you go. Um, oh, it's it looks you're working it really well. It looks super fancy. <laughs> um, yeah, every. Litos just uh, joined us as well. Hello, Litos. Litos Pinto. Hello. You just are you able to hear us? I'm not sure you can hear us. What's up? Hi, Got kind of a lot of voices in mm. there. Yes. Got a lot. I can. I can hear you, but it's kind of double, double voices everywhere. Oh, I can you? hear both of you. Ah, you've got some yeah. echo I'll, going on. Yeah, I got an echo. Ah, let me see. Should I mute it? I'm not sure how. Um, yeah, if you since you're in the Zoom, you yeah, can, yeah, love. you can mute the uh, other thing, like the streaming version. And just hear us through Zoom. And that might uh, that might eliminate the echo. And again, also, um, I do a lot of uh, I'm I, the the way I can do all this pressure is I use a lot of just Japanese or Chinese style brushes. Mm. So um, I'm also mimicking my like how I would how I would use brush or pressure pressure pressure. So it's that's another thing too that like I'm I'm not really saying is um, excuse me. Um, um, that's also playing a factor like why I'm, I'm using studio brush because I like studio brush because it reminds me of this brush I was using or that I use now when I do my paintings. Um, and I can just t push down for the amount of pressure that I want that I make the, uh, to give me a, a different type of um, um, brush weight. Think yeah, that that cool. got better. That sounds better, Litos? Yeah, it sounds better. I think I disconnected the other one. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. How are you doing, Litos? Good. How are you doing? I started way late, so I got it just like a little bit of I don't know. Oh, let's get you, I'll get you spotlighted there. 
Oh, epic. That looks great, Litos. Andrea, are you able to see Litos's? Yeah, that looks cool. See, that almost looks like this. It looks like uh, Soga's work. There you go. Looks like the, the Japanese painting Soga. Soga. I got to look that up. <laughs> I know. There's... Yeah, this is what this warrior kind of looks like here. Like, see how, like, these finger waves here, how they just kind of come over uh -huh. the rock? Like, yeah, that, that right. reminds me of that. Awesome, man. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, thank you very much. I'll be right back, guys. There we go. Hmm. Come on, why did you break like that? Nice. That is looking like very epic. All right. Um, let's try the waterfall one now. Was that a little too fast? Um, I don't think so. Is everybody else feeling? No, uh, that's fine. Awesome. Okay. Um. And again, uh. <clears throat>
Uh, do you want me to keep going? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. As long. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure that as much as you want to uh, hang out and draw water, there's going to be some people that are going to be into it. Um, uh, but uh, no pressure at all. We've gone well over the usual time. So if you're getting hungry or tired at any point, <laughs> you just let us know. It's really great watching your process in real time. <coughs> Thank you. Whoa. Sorry, uh, get a phone call. Is it still an, um, um, we can still see you. Yeah, hold on one second. I might just mute my mic real quick, but. Yep, no problem. Has everybody in the uh, in here been uh, feeling pretty like excited to do the next week of getting some more some more uh, practice in meeting back next week? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, sure. I could draw waves every day. <laughs> it's really cool to see somebody else draw waves. You know, I, I can see myself do it all day long, but watching someone else you see the you see the similarities and then you see the things that are just completely different yeah Definitely. it's cool that everyone can take like a, a traditional style and totally make it completely different mm -hmm. yeah uh, coming through each person you can yeah it's kind of funny. It's almost like, you know, with individual finger waves, you can almost see a fingerprint from that specific person. It's like, oh, totally. yeah, those are those are waves that were done by uh, Grime or, um, oh, yeah, that was uh, Shige's waves or Jeff Gogue waves. You know, you can really start to pick out and differentiate styles just based on waveforms and patterns. Mm -hmm. Totally. All right, guys, I got to get going. Thank you very much for everything. And I will catch up with everyone next week. Awesome. See you. Sounds good. Man. Have Take a good great night, time, guys. man. Appreciate it. Anytime.
Um, somebody in the chat is wondering, Andre, if you're working on an iPad Pro 12. Oh, I'm not sure if you're actually still on your phone call. Sorry about that. I'll be right there. Um, yeah, I'm using iPod. I'm, I'm using the um, 12. Nice. Yeah. Sorry, I, I forgot that you were on a phone call. No worries. Hmm. You can get some music going. <laughs> Will this stay up on YouTube? Should go back uh, around? I believe this will just, uh, yeah, become a replay on YouTube. Um, I'm not sure how long it takes to, for it to become a replay. It might become automatically or it might uh, take overnight or something, but uh, it, will, it will be there. There's a lot that I want to kind of rewind and rewatch. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Cool. So we're actually doing this again next week, too? Yeah, so uh, we're having our usual uh, members uh, drawing uh, exercise on Monday. And I think that uh, we're talking about uh, Andre coming back for 
possibly a little bit more of wave drawing and at least kind of going through um, everybody's like once we've done a whole week of just drawing these things yeah. on our own, then we can kind yeah, of back. show how we've uh, how we've how far we've come in that week. Hey, cool. Sandy, I'm back. Andre, oh. you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm right on. Yeah, thanks for uh, sticking out for uh, it's a good solid three hours of your time you gave us. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to touch base and see where everyone was at. Looks like, oh, we got a waterfall going on here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we went through everybody's uh, stuff. Litos is in here. Um, and Andre, okay. we give a good little uh, feedback on pretty much every piece. So, and now we're doing the waterfall. Nice. All right. Well, I better try doing a waterfall. I'm supposed to be packaging books right now, but I'm going to do a waterfall first. <laughs> All right. So what did I miss about waterfalls? We've, I mean, it, it gives us a splash point from above uh, and the water is going to be reacting differently as a result. So uh, See. Yeah, I think one of the temptations I often have when I'm doing water in general is is the splashing motion tends to be very uh exaggerated to the point of being almost spiky and uh then i try to build from there and, and make it look more fluid and sometimes it's hard to i love splashes you know when uh um like slow-mo videos of of uh water drops there's a bunch of these out right now people shooting water balloons and, and or dropping water balloons on razor blades or whatever and then you get these amazing splashes that they make i love those Thanks. slow motion water explosions definitely an enjoyable rabbit hole to go down <laughs> yeah i mean why why is this stuff so naturally attractive there definitely is something to it and and i think that part of it is it I don't know to me it feels like there's a mystery there that that you're seeing part of the solution but it's so slippery you know the just the sense of uh there's some kind of part part of that that universal truth about how everything works and uh something like fire or water when it's rendered the right way it's kind of an artistic you know look into you know chaos and creation mm hmm Um, Guy, there's a few people that are here that are, this is their first time, uh, they came okay. public, um, and I'm just wondering if you want to kind of tell them about um, how they can come and join us for lots of these. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, for sure. So uh, we do this every Monday night, and this is the first time we've had uh, a guest instructor, which we'd like to do this more regularly, and uh, of course, Andre is going to be joining us next week. And since uh, this week's has been public, I think we'll make next week's public as well. Since, you know, I'd like to kind of give everybody a chance to, you know, follow through on this, this week long challenge. But uh, yeah, if you want to be part of, of the uh, every week for these a month, uh, that's part of the <laughs> reinventing, the, reinventing the tattoo package. Uh, it's a, uh, it started out as a book, Reinventing the Tattoo is a book I wrote a long time ago and, and rewrote and rewrote. And there's now an electronic version, which is also being rewritten again. Um, it's constantly in, in, uh, in progress. But uh, the most important part of this educational package I've always felt has been the design part of it. Um, you know, there's a lot of technical stuff in reinventing the tattoo, but the design aspect of things, you know, you can, uh, 
you can do a, a relatively weak execution of a great design and it'll still be a pretty good tattoo, right? But if you've got a terrible design, no amount of rendering in the world is going to save it. So uh, anyway, this is, this is kind of part of our, our flow, flow and fit uh, on the body being really key things in design. And uh, so last week we did something on fire. Uh, we're doing some elemental flow things because I, I think that uh, uh, that's something that we could never grow tired of exploring. But anyway, if, if you enjoyed this and you want to be part of it every week, uh, reinventingthetattoo.com. Uh, you can read more about the, the whole, the whole sh shebang. But uh, we're also going to be releasing an app sometime in about a month or so. The, the app is most of the way done. We're just refining some buttons and things like that. And uh, that's going to give everyone who's got the app, uh, including, you know, it's, it's going to be a free app. It'll give you access to all the other programming that we've, we've got going on. There's bunches of interviews. Um, there's some uh, podcasts and things like that. Uh, we've got a Monday morning drawing group, uh, which uh, we just had this morning uh, with Jake Meeks. We've got all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, that reinventing app, uh, you'll actually be able to get notifications telling you, oh yeah, the Jake Meeks drawing group is starting in 15 minutes and that kind of thing. So it's, Currently, the big focus is I'm trying to come up with things that are, are group activities that, you know, since we're all cooped up right now, and I think it's going to be worse over the winter, that uh, we can kind of get together like this, have drawing groups, painting groups. We had a, a really nice paint jam on Sunday night uh, with Rain Del Mar, and we're doing a, one of those every couple of weeks with various different artists leading them. So, yeah, the, the bigger picture of reinventing the tattoo is... is as much about uh, community and, and just having fun activities as it is about, uh, you know, the educational part of the book. I don't know if that was a very good description, but uh, there's my ramble. I thought that was very yeah. informative. Um, and, and just to add on to that, I'm just gonna put in the, uh, in the um, comments again, um, because it was put up earlier, but we didn't get time to mention it. Um, if anybody is really just stoked on learning all of this stuff about waves and you're feeling like you have a little bit of cash that you can uh, share with Andre, there's a little PayPal donation thing that I'm going to put in there. You want to give him a little tip for all this awesome info. And of course, there's also his uh, ebook, which if you want to give them a tip, but also have something cool that you can keep. Uh, how do uh, people find your ebook? Um, just look my name up on on um, on uh, iTunes. It's Andre Malcolm. It should pop up. Uh, drawings by Andre Malcolm. It's on there. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. Um, um, it's just, yeah, it's just my name. Uh, Didn't know iTunes had books. Yeah, man, they're trying to do it like uh, Amazon. Mm. They're just going to be a, all the things. <laughs> Guy, I think that's something that you might have been out away from the computer for that was like a big game changer was uh, the Sharpie trick that Andre was talking about. Ah, the Sharpie trick. I did not catch that. What is the Sharpie trick? <laughs> uh, I'll, oh, I'll yeah. do it now. Um, yeah, so this is like a little cascading water, what it would look like, splashing. Uh, wow, beautiful. Perfect.
Uh, so Sharpie trick is, um, let's go with, uh, this war. <clears throat> okay um so uh this is something that like i remember when i was teaching myself um how to do water like get it right um i would just uh let's let's try it like this let's just do a little circle let's go with a square again there are more rectangle oh, sorry Um, uh, here we go. Let's try this one. Okay, so um, again with the half circles. Yeah, I want to be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, there we go. Okay. So, um, and now it's just to refine it, um, which is uh, sketch and ultimate brush once you have ultimate brush on then uh you can just one line everything see that so basically that's the whole thickness of the wave <clears throat> yes gotcha all right There we go. Okay, so then after that, I take it the next step would be to just kind of lighten it up and then double line it? Yes. 
Ah, <laughs> I know. I know the tricks, trick. kid. But then, if you want, you can make them a little more chunkier. Yeah, man, I like this. So that might that might be a lot easier. Yeah, I definitely think that's going to be a big, I think I'm probably going to start every one, like if we're doing this once a day, every day of the week, I'm probably going to start off with that kind of thing. Because I think it'll be helpful. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to start out that way, but I, I'm certainly going to use it for my second pass, I think. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I'll, I'll try it a few different ways. <laughs> Oh, crazy. Yeah, it really does make a world of difference in terms of helping shape the fingers. And that's it. I didn't like that. I didn't like any of that. Ah. <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now I'm going to try that other stage of double lining it. Well, I'm glad I came back to this. I was going to go straight to uh, packing books, but this is way better. <laughs> better trick anyway. And then I'm going to go pack books. That was the unfortunate situation, but... <laughs> I'm happy that it's book buying season, right? Mm -hmm. Can't complain. <clears throat> I know a lot of a lot of tattooers like to work with colored pencils to sketch with because you know it limits how much they can erase and and i get that you know uh although i love erasing i don't like having to you know be that committed until it's finally time to tattoo it by that point hopefully i'll have my act together right <laughs> yeah i definitely like being able to erase We already have to kind of commit to the point of no erasing when we're <clears throat> doing so. I think one of the one of the awesome game changers was when uh, everybody started using sharpies, and then people were using sharpies from like. Uh, you know, three or four different colors to sketch it. And then it's like you are, that's like the whole drawing it three or four times before you actually tattoo it. Right. Yep. And one thing I saw Philip do once uh, at a convention was uh, he uh, used uh, first. Um, watercolor markers or or like children's markers basically that that were water soluble and did all the the rough sketching in that yeah and then came back in with the sharpies and and got it uh kind of uh retraced and then just kind of washed everything down and got rid of all that that watercolor marker i uh i got the, I got the very lucky opportunity to meet him um back in 99 in, uh, in Switzerland, and I was able to meet his dad. Uh, oh, yeah, I never got to meet Felix. What a really, really interesting, beautiful man. Um, they invited me into their, the, they have a little um, museum. It looks like a shrine. Um, it, it's, it was just amazing. It was like, it was like 
overwhelming, like all the little stuff they had. But um, Kurt Wiscombe was there. And uh, one of the things that Philip was doing, I don't know if he's still doing it, but he would, um, he would literally paint with tattoo ink um, on the skin. And then he would put saran wrap over it and somehow pull it off. So he was able to keep, um, keep what he was doing. Uh, but yeah, like the whole, you do a whole back piece in, or a whole arm in like, uh, literally like black ink and, and, and paintbrush. And then also in colored ink, it's pretty, pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. Philip did all kinds of different stuff, <laughs> you know, one of my favorites, and this wasn't just Philip, this is like both of them together. Right. Uh, so Felix, um, <clears throat> decided that he wanted to help with uh, this project that Philip was going to do on the side of Paul Booth's head and face. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen this thing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and Felix ended up doing probably 50 or 60 drawings of Paul. Like these are pencil portraits uh, of his, the side of his face. Wow. And he didn't just draw one and then knock off a bunch of copies, which is what I would have done. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he drew it fifty or sixty times, and they all looked like Paul, but each drawing was different. And uh, and then uh, the designs that he drew in there, he just used a a twig that he had grabbed off the yard. It's a broken twig from a tree, and dipped it in ink and then just drew with that. And uh, so I, I was at a convention one time and Philip is like, hey, come on, smoke with us. Hey, I want to show you this. And uh, we walk into the room and these drawings are all laid out. It's covering the entire bed and floor. And so you had to tiptoe in between them because that was the only way to spread them all out. There's so many of them. Wow. And uh, yeah, it was so crazy. Uh, I mean, and this is taking it so far beyond. Hmm, I just want to find a good drawing. Right. <laughs> Uh, once you get into the, that deep into the process, you're just letting it take you wherever it goes. And, and uh, you know, that's so unnecessary. That <laughs> is beautiful. You know, I mean, so many of us, are, we have to just do what's necessary because we're in a hurry. Right? Yeah. yeah, he was putting his all in there. That's wild. Yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I remember when uh, Paul <laughs> said that story. I was crying when he said it. I was like, oh, that's a dope spiritual experiment. I mean, uh, experience. Definitely. Yeah, that was dope. You probably walk away with something that really fits the face because you're so familiar with the face by then. Yeah, well, I mean, every one of them fit the face pretty well. And, and uh, it was just a matter of, I think they were just trying to find something that fit Paul, you know, his yeah. personality. And, and that's one of the reasons why I think Felix drew his face over and over and over again. He was just sort of like going deep into that, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and, and of course, Paul had been over to their, their place many times and, and uh you know, they, they knew him yeah, as a, as a person pretty well. And so, uh, there was a chance to reflect on, you know, <laughs> trying to, trying to get that personality into the tattoo. I, uh, I actually have a, a little Sharpie trick. Um, I don't think most people know about, um, if you are, if you do know about it, it's cool. But, um, one time I was working on a, a very large piece that needed to be like two sides of something and I, I had drawn uh, everything on one side and I'm like this is way too big and I can't flip it um, and it fits the body perfectly how am I gonna how am I gonna flip this so and I did it in sharpie and I, uh, I took some Dettol and the uh, a piece of the paper that comes um, with, with thermal copper paper like the that little thin brown sheet and okay, yep. I, uh, I put a piece of tape up top and I very lightly put enough Dettol just to make it kind of gleam on the, on the skin. And then I pressed it down like, like I was reversing the, uh, the, the stencil process <laughs> and it comes right off. Like it doesn't, it doesn't remove the drawing, but it, it puts the imprint onto the paper of the exact size. 
Yeah, you know what works really well for that that's a little less messy is just clear contact paper. Oh, oh yeah. It yep. works great. Yeah. You just you, you do your drawing uh, on the skin, you press that clear contact paper down and peel it back off. And you'll probably have to touch up the original drawing because it'll pick up about half the ink. Really? But uh, it'll give you a very clean, readable, uh, you know, imprint that you can then, you know, run with. Yeah, I've definitely used that a lot before. And it was funny. The, the, I found um, it, it's, I guess it's the same stuff, but it's like what they put on in the drawers. Stick into yeah, the exactly. It's shelf paper. Yeah, exactly. I found some at a thrift shop and I was like, oh, hey, I've been meaning to try this out. And it works like beautifully. Yeah, I've actually had to do that a few times recently. I would have never thought about contact paper. That must be what, what Philip was using when he was painting on the skin. He's probably putting contact paper right on top of it. To ah, it. okay. That makes yeah. more sense. That would do it. Yeah. Contact paper is an awesome uh, tool for sure. Did you get his new book guy or anybody in the, in the chat? The new, uh, which new book? Uh, the book that that uh, Mickey did on Philip. I'm not sure if I've seen huh. it. How how recently was it released? Uh, this month. No, I definitely have not seen it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's like 600 pages. Wow. That's a bit of a look. So I, I take it that's going way into, <laughs> into his history and everything. Yeah, I think so. The comprehensive, uh, yeah, awesome. You can imagine tattooing as a, as a, as a child, but it's pretty cool that he did. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's some pretty amazing stories about his childhood that uh, it was – not a typical childhood, <laughs> to put it uh, mildly. Probably going to be an interesting book. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much of that stuff uh, is in the book, like, you know, <laughs> tripping on acid at age 10 while watching, you know, bodies being burned in India and stuff like that. <laughs> it gets pretty crazy. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> Good Dad, time. when can I have acid? Not until you're 10, son. <laughs> <laughs> Dad! <laughs> my son's turning 10 next week, next year. <laughs> yeah, my nephew. I guess they're uh, up for their first trips, eh? Um, when I was in Take Mexico... only half. <laughs> when I was in Mexico the last time, uh, my, I had my... I have this tattoo that I've done on my own leg, and it's these large mushrooms and they are very psilocybin looking and uh a lot of the mexicans really recognize them right away and this one guy says oh i know those mushrooms and i said oh yeah and he says yes when i was 14 my father took me up the mountain and i can't remember the woman's name but there was this woman that uh she got quite famous for like helping people uh go through magical mushroom trips um and like little spiritual journeys and stuff and uh, this was before she kind of got world famous, but he was 14 and his dad took him there to have his first mushroom trip. And, uh, and he talked about how wonderful it was and life changing. I thought, wow, 14, that's pretty wild that your dad just like brought you over there. Well, you know, in the indigenous cultures uh, where they, you know, use ayahuasca, the young children will start getting very small doses at a very young age as toddlers, you know, wow. uh, they, they just normalize it. It's, it's part of their, their cultural, you know, medicine. That's so cool. Actually, I couldn't imagine my son's imagination. He, he's, he'll be seven uh, in, on the 13th. I can't even imagine his imagination if he had any kind of. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, they're already so free. You know, it's kind of like we we do that to try to regain a little bit of what what we've lost exactly. in childhood.
That's so, so the, I'm sorry. Uh, one of the only uh, other artists that I ever got advice about from uh, uh, about drawing waves was uh, Eddie Deutsch. And he had explained that his best waves, he always drew from like the bottom front upward and back. And so I've always kind of done it that way. And I've, it's felt like it's flowed a little better, better like that. But uh, uh, Andre, it seems like you're a little bit more like you go whichever direction fits where you're at. Yeah, I'm, I'm always moving it, the, moving it around and, and kind of getting it to to uh, work with gravity a little bit. I'm always thinking about gravity and, and, and how that would how that would uh, affect water. You know, um, pushing the pull, a little bit of wind with it. Um, yeah, actually, having it having it the crest get blown and affected by the wind is is uh, you know, like in that photo you were showing us. It's a, a cool idea. It would be tricky to pull off though. <laughs> tricky for me. Yeah, I mean, uh, all my my wave designs. Um... No, I just want you to know I have every intention of being able to draw a pretty good wave by the next time uh, we convene. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Doing this xenomorph, uh, this neomorph, going back into uh, to to biomech. Oh my god! I, oh yeah. When you guys would do like these like spinal ribs, ah, oh, oh, dude, mm -hmm. it's a different level of concentration. Yeah, well, I mean that because then you have the repetition without the changes. You know, like there is some graduation to it like uh, it might get smaller a little bit or larger a little bit as you move along or you know the protrusions along the sides might get longer or shorter but uh, if we want it to actually look natural and skeletal uh you can't push that too hard and uh, uh, it's just like with waves there's there's some rules you know all right i'm gonna do one more and then i'm gonna go ship books okay <laughs> Because I'm doing better drawings each time I do one. So I'm going to do one more. Are you a fool to walk away from it, right? Totally. Melissa, never cut and paste. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that. You got to draw it. <laughs> I'm just getting a feel for the flow of it. I'm like having a hard time. <laughs> He's got his eyes on you, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> you got to draw it. <laughs> yeah you know it's it's a tricky thing because you know in, in our our day-to-day -day operation as artists we we do a lot of tracing and cutting and collaging and and it's what we need to do in order to get the job done and uh in these exercises i've been really trying to encourage people to you know, just look at the reference, but not trace. And, uh, and it's, it's hard, you know, it's, it's a, a different, you know, like a different skill set that uh, I, th I think, uh, I feel like my own drawing skills have uh, diminished since I've been using computers, you know, just in terms of being able to sit <laughs> on and draw freely, because I use all these other tools and, and they're so helpful, you know. How would you not want to use them? Cutting corners. Yeah, I don't know if it's so much cutting corners, <laughs> just trying to get the job done. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely helpful too. Uh, just convenience of making it quicker a little bit. Not just I quicker, appreciate. but hopefully better in the process. Yeah, I more efficient. Yeah, for sure for that. Do I hear Casey? Or who am I hearing in the, in the background there? Oh, that was me. That was Sandy. Okay. Also that. Tivon. Tivon. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah, hey. 
Yeah, I disappeared from last night's session right as you were coming on. Yeah, that was a fun one. <laughs> that was fun. That got pretty yeah. nice. How far did you get with yours? Um, I definitely wouldn't say it's completed. Um, you have here, I, can, on, I, I can, show can show you. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, I got back on mine a little bit this morning during the Jake Meeks session. And uh, I saw that. It was looking awesome. Michelle thinks it's finished, but I still feel like going over it with oils. I don't know if I'm going to, though. Hard to make time for it all. Yes. You see that? Oh, yeah. For yeah. sake. Night scene. What Very the nice. yeah. fuck? <laughs> That's a lot, a lot of refining that I want to do to it. Yeah, you got um, really far though, man. That's awesome. Very Halloweeny, you know. It's it's definitely got that yeah. that scraggly, nasty, mean, evil tree vibe. <laughs> yeah, that's what we all decided that we uh we all did haunted landscapes last night. Is what <laughs> okay? What the consensus of the group was. We had some pretty spooky conversations <laughs> that it ended up evolving into. <laughs> oh man, so I missed a, that. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was. Oh yeah, it was fun. My partners uh, do night shifts this week. And so I was all alone in the house and I was like, oh, okay, guys, we gotta, we gotta start talking about something else for a little bit before I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tavon though. And anybody else that's still around that was at that paint uh, jam? Um, yeah. Uh, if you want to use the hashtag um, reinventing paint jam, that would be awesome. Yes. Sweet. Sometimes I wish that I was better about taking progress shots. Not that it really matters that much, but sometimes, you know, you end up putting a piece to significant enough changes. Yeah, and uh, you want to be able to look back and compare, and you're like, ah, oh, damn. Yeah. Even I'm if not you're not going to be, that. even if you're not going to be showing them off, you know, uh, so especially when I'm doing something subtle, like I'm developing a light source, and I really want to make sure that okay, I, I want to go significantly brighter with this, and then I'm I'm done doing it, and I no longer have the original to compare it to. Like, did I did I actually do what I set out to do here? <laughs> Yeah, my mom does takes a lot of photos and whenever she sells a painting and she has enough of those photos, she'll put it onto a CD and give it to the people so they can see like the progress of it. Oh, neat. Yeah. I have to say, I'm definitely digging the Sharpie trick. I feel like I'm, I'm able to, to flow with yeah, the shit it's a little bit better. Yeah, and then just that, that, that the scale effect that I was telling you about, just keep doing that and you'll build it on, you'll build it up. A lot of great tricks learned tonight. Very helpful. Yeah, I'm not saying much, but just watching and learning, man. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to trace over this guy now. So I've done three of the Sharpie style. Um, yeah, I still uh, I still get lost in the overall movement too. It's I, I think one of the vexing things about water is just the fact that there's so many different things you can play with, so many variables. Mm -hmm. What would be cool too, Andre, is that like you're drawing the, the koi right now to actually do the Sharpie trick on the koi to get a little bit of a negative space on the scales as opposed to just damp doing them like lined up. Is that something that you tried before? Yeah, I've tried that before and um, I, I kind of like it having it done this way because uh, <laughs> it's too much space. I've done I've done it where it's like it, it gives me too much space, whereas this is just just the right amount of space. Right. 
It's like, um, I, I, and I'll show you what I mean. It might be a little bit different before now than before because when I first did that, I was like way younger. I was early 30s and 41 now, so. So, uh, yeah, last week what we did uh, since, you know, I, I wanted to explore the idea of, you know, doing stylized flames, but first starting with actual flame references. And uh, so as an experiment, uh, the group, um, we had several of these references and we just kind of traced over them, but tried to simplify and reduce them more or less into our own hand and after doing three of those we then just did one out of our heads and it's it's hard you know no matter how hard you try you end up kind of drawing your own tattoo flames you know uh but it, it was still cool there, there were a couple of really neat drawings that people posted mm -hmm. Another thing that this uh, the Sharpie trick, it reminds me a little bit of uh, uh, my friend Adrian Dominic. He was a graffiti writer before he got into uh, tattooing. And nice. uh, yeah, nice. And so a lot of what he does is based on the shape of the tool, you know, like if you're drawing with a, a really giant marker, you know, that, that big chisel point is the shape of the tool and it's going to determine the size and shape and kind of angle of the marks that you're making. And uh, so then when we get to actually tattooing, we can use needle groups of any size and shape that we want. There's nothing limiting us, you know, and sometimes having that limitation, having a tool that's got a distinct shape to it, uh, can actually be empowering. Totally. Yeah, I still haven't really messed around with uh, making my own brush tools yet. Yeah, me either. I just, I just been, I just went raw and just let me just figure this out first, and then my own brush tools. But I, this, this is all stock, stock brushes. Yeah. Well, there's so many stuff. <laughs> I know, right? There's so many good ones, right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, and it's not like we're running dry. But uh, you know, one time Killian Moon was visiting here, and he showed us how to make brushes, and it's simple. It's really there's nothing to it. My daughter can do it now, you know, and um, and the main reason I haven't done more of it is just like you were saying. There's already so many good ones. Uh, I haven't reached a point where I'm like, man, I really need a better, like rough natural looking paintbrush head or whatever, because there's like lots of choices. So yeah, there hasn't been a need for it yet. But for example, like Killian was showing how to do a, a brush that'll make a simple dotted line. Right. And that's really useful if you're making stencils and you want to have some solid lines and some dotted lines right to mm. to denote you know this is going to be where i actually yeah, make a line and this is just going to be the edge of a shaded area you can get like that stipple look mm -hmm. yeah 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 my nephew made me a brush it was super colorful i don't know how he made it so colorful but it's like the rainbow like those uh. used to have a whole bunch of colors in them oh yeah. right yeah yeah, I called it the Sandra is awesome pin. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's so nice. Well, hey, I'm going to go pack books before uh, it's it's about to turn over midnight here. And uh, I already feel like I got a head full. I'm going to uh, do some Sharpie drawings tomorrow and everything. Uh, and uh, I don't know if any of us is going to have anything to post because I don't know if anyone's doing any really finished looking uh, drawings, but uh, 
I'm going to try to post some of mine. If I, if I do some wave drawings, I like, and uh, so keep an eye out there and we'll, we'll probably at some point uh, put up a hashtag at the reinventing the tattoo Instagram saying, if you're doing any wave drawings this week, uh, post them every day with the, this hashtag. Uh, I don't know, Sandy, let's come up with a hashtag right now. Uh, I mean, reinventing waves would, would be easy to do. Reinventing waves. No, or... I don't want that title. No. <laughs> I don't want that title. Let's just call it, let's just call it Wave Week. Wave reinventing week. Splash. There you go. That's great. Wave Week. Wave, wave Week. week. Shark Week, but Waves. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unless there's other people doing Wave Week kind of stuff already, I'm, I'm sure we're not the first to use that hashtag, but I think it's probably uh, good enough that uh, we'll be able to find each other if we use it. Yeah, there's only 40. Be wave cool, week. cool, sounds good to me. Oh, you just checked it, Sandy. There's only 40, you said? 448 only. 448, okay, and they're probably all older. So, okay, well... Any, any drawings I post this week, uh, I'm going to use the wave week hashtag and uh, call darn it. Um, I plan on being better at this seven days from now. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, each other. I'm hitting it. Andre, thanks again for joining us. And um, uh, this has been really <laughs> inspiring. I, I feel like my head's been blown off and Sandy, thanks for hosting. And thank you guys. Who joined, right, everyone yeah. who joined us tonight. It's always great to have you in the group. And uh, thank you, you everyone. Guys, you guys can thank keep this going as long as you want, but I got to hit it. So, you all have a good one. Take Bye. care. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Take care. Have a good night. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Andre. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, Ray. Take care. And yeah, Andre, you just let me know when you're feeling feeling pretty ready for bed. Or I mean, I'll be jumping off. Um, I just want to finish this and then, and then, uh, I just want to finish this koi. Yeah, that's I'm in the mode right now. I feel you. <laughs> I feel in the mode. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta go with it when you're in the mode. Hope I'm not holding you up. Oh no, not at all. My, like I said, my partner's on night shift. I've been staying up a while so I can like face him up, time him on his break, and I'm just working on uh, icons for the app right now. So. Cool, cool. How many people are in the chat right now? Um, I'm, I'm right here, Kalitos. Oh, cool, cool. Let's see how you're gonna tackle those, uh, those scales there. See how you approach them. Okay. Do you usually go with the scales all throughout, or you do that fine on the top of it? That is a little mm -hmm. thicker. Uh, you said the spine, yeah, like well, right, right around the spine. You usually have a, a thicker part, um, has a wider scale, yeah. It, it that very that varies sometimes. I'll do that, sometimes I won't. There's like a bunch of different um coys that have like it's like a thicker one on top, and some don't have it. Um, this one, I'm just <laughs> gonna do like a traditional koi where it's not thicker mm -hmm. on top, it's just all the same size going throughout it. Got it. So yeah, there's actually still some people in the chat. If you're still in the chat and you haven't mentioned anything in a little while, feel free to say hi. Um, Gizmo Goose is saying adios. Uh, Quentin is saying, wow, this is still going. I can't wait to watch it from the beginning. And jump yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, you can jump on there, Quentin. Oh, I, I'll, I'm sure the uh, Zoom link is a little bit up. So I'll find that again. And Bruno is saying, I learned so much tonight. So many great tricks. Thank you so much, Andre. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, this was a fun exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely feel way more confident now with that.
guess they do got to figure out how to put some music next time. Definitely. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> if you're going to post it on YouTube, it might mess up your algorithms. <laughs> That's a really good point, I guess, eh? They don't like the, ah. they don't like the um, copyright. That is true. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. All yeah, right, what if you're... we all just take turns beatboxing? <laughs> ah. They can't do anything about that, can they? Nope. <laughs> all right, you start. <laughs> Ah, all right. <laughs> nope, I, I think that's Bismarck Key. Oh, you're flagged. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, I don't know how they were able to do it. Um, I remember Richie Bulldog was doing some music for one of the last events, but I, he was DJing it. And so I think that that's how you get away with it is you're changing the song because you're taking it into another song and adding other stuff to it. So he was kind of able to DJ and there wasn't any issues, I think. So I'm not sure. Yeah, Quentin says uh, music would get the audio muted on YouTube, yikes. All right, well, we have to find something, some sort of uh, free music that we can just kind of put in the background for these sorts of things. Man, that's a good rhythm, Andrew. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I like how you kept a nice cylinder curvature as you draw on that. Very nice. Thank you. All right, I'm just going to run away for probably about 20 minutes. Is that, uh, that going to be too much time there, Andre? Or are you going to um, be chilling for 20 more minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take as much time as you need. Okay, cool. We'll be back. It spaced out too much there, but this is just a... <clears throat> yeah, the movement looks very nice. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm.
Andrew, did, which brush did you switch to? Uh, studio pen, a studio brush. Oh, no, uh -huh. studio pen, studio pen right here. Pen. Oh, I got you. Thank you. And it's on stock. I just it's, I haven't changed anything about it. I only have it on fifteen percent. Uh -huh. Um, it's on fifteen percent right here. Or if that's fourteen, but it's supposed to be a fifteen. Mm -hmm. There you go. Andre, have you ever heard of a, a Chinese painter named Liu Ziyu? I think so. I have a... Uh, 17th a century? Yeah. It's amazing because when you show those, uh, actually the picture on your left there has that watercolor feel that's a minimalist. And he... Yeah. As he goes through his career, he was highly detailed in the beginning. And as he got mm -hmm. older, he minimized the strokes and <clears throat> all that. It's just uh, phenomenal to see. Yeah, I want to get that like that when I get older, like minimal. Minimal lines, you know? Got it. Trying to be as efficient as possible with the translation of the piece. Yeah. Were you using uh, Photoshop before you used Procreate? No, this is uh, uh, <clears throat> when the iPads came out. I got the one. Uh, I've had this for. I first got one in like 2016, so I. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm really new to them. You know, I never used anything before this. Yeah seem very comfortable in Procreate. I find that a lot of people that start off in Photoshop sort of have a little bit of a difficult time switching over, but um, I really like some of the those tools that, that Procreate offers. Yeah. I have, I have not been able to switch over. I, um, I didn't want to do that. Um... I uh, I started. I I just watched a few videos on like YouTube about Procreate, you know. Mm -hmm. But like for all like the stuff I'm designing now, 
I might have to just go over to uh um not Photoshop but uh Adobe because everything is like vector, you know. Oh, to put it in, in Illustrator, yeah. Yeah, in Illustrator. Is there really a huge difference between Photoshop and Illustrator? Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Illustrator is more like for a very good for vector uh, design. Yep. yep. I like the portable aspect of the the tablet, the the iPad. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I love that. I mean, I have like one of those. Uh, I have one of those printers, and you know, and it just prints right right off of that. It's great. Yeah, that's amazing. If you're used to doing anything in Photoshop and you try to switch over and do anything in, in Illustrator, it is one of the most frustrating things because a lot of the tools look similar, but they don't act at all. The same, huh? huh. And, then, and then you're like trying to work in, in <clears> layers. <throat> the layers don't work the same. It's I, I literally have to watch a YouTube video every time I want to do something in, in, in Illustrator. And huh. the, reason, the reason to use Illustrator is like if you wanted to make like stickers. Uh, yeah. Or anything that's like that's like line based, uh, or anything that you want to blow up really big that um, is all is all based more on a on a design as opposed to like a drawing or a um, yeah yeah something more like a logo, logo or something yeah so it, think think logo think uh, sticker like literally like that like real basic sticker. Um, huh. Like everything that he's doing right there, just how how bold that black looks, will stay that way no matter how big it is or how small it is. And if you have they did it in Photoshop, as soon as you started like blowing it up a little bit, you'd start to see the lines start to fuzz. Huh. Yep. Illustrator, you don't see none of that. Interesting. Illustrator, you could blow it up to the size of a building and it'll still be crispy clean. But it's not really user friendly. It's not like it's like Photoshop. You often like think in Photoshop. You often think like, uh, you know, there's scissors and there's I'm gonna I'm gonna blow this up. I'm gonna shrink this down. I'm gonna cut this in half and then like duplicate it and flip it over. Um, and in Illustrator, I have to watch a video on YouTube every time I do any of those things. <laughs> huh. All right. Well, because Illustrator have to look blows into that. I'm curious. Up with math. Like Illustrator that blows up. Illustrators, Illustrator's all mathematical. So if you do a line, you know, X amount size by X amount, it scales it to the size regardless of how big you go or how small you go. Mm. Um, whereas Photoshop is all by pixel. Um, so it's all based on, um, you know, your, your DPI. Okay. Thank you for that. Yeah, uh, I did graphic design first. So I, <clears throat> I know all of those programs really well. Yeah, I need to get, I need to work on my Illustrator more. But I've got so many designs I've done on this iPad that it's, uh, I know you can transfer all the, everything over, but I heard it's a pain in the ass to do it. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know. Um, I work Android just because I didn't go digital until about a year ago. Um, and even the program I'm working with right now, it's, uh, it's what they call Adobe Sketch. It's like the paint version of Photoshop on the tablet. It's teeny tiny. Um, Are you doing UX? I'm sorry? Are you doing UX, uh, user experience? I'm not entirely sure what that means. <laughs> a lot of people in user experience use Sketch, and um, when they're like making <laughs> mockups for uh, apps or mockups for websites, I'm still not sure. <laughs> it's, it's something I've never heard of. Mockup, like we're looking at Zoom right now, so everything you see on this, there's like 
squares and there, there would be like the, the shape of it and also like a, a lighter gray. If you ever sometimes look at something and all of a sudden it shows you like these light gray blocks and then all of a sudden all your the images pop up, that's usually what like a UI or UX person um, had made like for a wireframe for the information architecture of the website or the uh, or, or, or the app. Hmm. I don't but, think yeah, this on. is that. It's more. It's like it still works in layers, and I can still like change the opacity and stuff. Um, but it's not. It's not as complex, and I can't do as much stuff on it. Hmm. So it's like Photoshop Lite. Oh. <laughs> um, it, it's like they even have, uh, I'll show you. So there's even, so like I have Adobe Draw, which is kind of like Illustrator Lite. And then I have Adobe Sketch, which is what I'm working in now. And then <laughs> Photoshop Mix. So it's like you take all of these tiny little programs for Android and it makes it kind of like you've got Photoshop or, uh, or what you would use on an iPad, but it's not it's not equivalent. Do you use um, the Illustrator one very often? Uh, when I've got a computer that's decent enough to handle it. <laughs> Damn, it's, really? Yeah, yeah, for real. The hardest um, thing is, like, is trying to try to think in Illustrator. Like I, I instantly think of everything of how I would do something in Photoshop, but I don't have a um, a solid grasp on thinking in, in Illustrator. So it seems that it seems that Illustrator is a little bit um, I don't know has a little less spirit than Photoshop. It's very technical. It's very uh, very precise. I, I I feel that way. I think Photoshop is a little more our realm of things that has a little bit more natural look to it. Like if you want something that's clean cut, I mean, typical user for Illustrator, you've got something clean cut, like a logo, very simple, right. um, very clean and crisp. That's mm -hmm. typically how you would describe someone who uses Illustrator. Whereas Photoshop, right. you can get all of these like digital paintings and stuff, and it looks like as if it was done by hand. Uh, hmm. Have you guys used Sketchbook on Procre uh, on a pad? I haven't. No. Yeah, there's a there's I tried an app it. called Sketchbook. Huh? I've tried it. Sketchbook you Pro. Tried it? Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's, as user, it's not as user friendly as uh, Procreate. Oh, definitely not. But it's interesting too, yeah, to just to experience that. Like you, if I zoom in, you can see the pixels. I don't like that. Uh, hmm. That's the only thing I don't like about Procreate. <laughs> Other than that, it's. It's sick. Is Procreate still only like five bucks? I don't. I don't. I don't think I paid for this. Five or, five or ten bucks, I thought, but yeah, it's insanely cheap uh, for, for for what you get. <laughs> it's like a. I shouldn't say cheap, it's insanely inexpensive. Compared to Photoshop, you have to have the monthly subscription now. Yeah. Everything is monthly subscription now. <clears throat> it is I wish there was a, I was gonna say, I wish there was a pro, uh, Procreate for Mac desktop. That'd be kind of cool to be able to transfer It is really nice having all of the Adobe suite when you've got like computer, tablet, blah, blah. Um, considering like I had it back when it was CS3 and it was like a $1,200 program and then they updated it a year and a half later and it was completely obsolete what I had. 
Shit. Death and Outright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I like much better that it's a monthly um, versus the other way because, I mean, that was yeah. student edition. I was still paying like $1,200. Andre, <laughs> shown in this video is what everyone wished they learned their first year of tattooing. <laughs> we've spent like the past, you know, 15 years trying to master it, you know. It's amazing. Oh, man, it's trial and error, man, for me. I went from my peak always- my- yeah, it's 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 never it's never ending learning process, you know. It, it's right. You know, like, I I I'll look at Horiyoshi tattooing and his stuff looks totally different every year. You know, he's he's um he's constantly thinking about like uh design and 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 the process. You know, so if I look at it, I, I, it's, it's, it's never ending. Philip, Mick, all those guys. I I follow that do Japanese work. It's it's never ending. I mean, a, 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 any type of artist, you know. Um, even guys like uh, uh, um, like Eddie Deutsch, you know, still still at it. You know, Philip is still at it. I there's no yeah it doesn't it doesn't stop. Never ending stuff to learn. And there and there's always new stuff that wasn't out when you first started. Yep. <laughs> to learn. <laughs> I just I, you know, I'm 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 I just learned how to do uh stipple. You know, I just learned how to do it. I, I remember I remember uh you couldn't even um you couldn't even hand poke. And that's like a thing now in tattooing. So, so many different, um, so many different th- styles that are coming out. It's just a strong learning process, you know? How long have you been tattooing? Uh, 20 years. Nice. Yeah, 20 years. How long October have you guys May- been tattooing? Everybody around, going around the table here. I, I've been tattooing 25 years. Wow. Oh, shit. Damn. I'd have to think about uh, that for a second. <laughs> I'm going 42. Whoa. What? <laughs> 42 years. Whoa. When did Since you, how old tw- when you started? I was I was 12 years old. I was still in Brazil when I'm from from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and I saw tattoos for the first time. And I saw the work of the best guy in the country back then. His name was Chaz, uh, Hell's Angels in Rio. And I walked to his studio and I asked him to teach me what he was doing. I loved you know the art, and he goes, "Now nah, you're too young. Just you know, go go your own way. When you grow up, you'll come back and we talk about it." And back then, there was no computers, there was no books, there was nothing available. So I was trying to do as much um, developing on my own. And when I got a little bit of uh, some imagery, I went back to the studio and I asked him to give him some pointers. Just, uh, you know, can you tell me if I'm doing right or if I'm going the right direction? So I went there so many times that he just, man, this kid is really interested. So I was allowed to... Um, hang out at the studio and by the age of 14 I was working with him in the first tattoo convention in Brazil in the same booth which was amazing for a kid and I came to the States when I was 16 years old and I walked into a tattoo studio that was the first legal shop in the state of Florida named Loose Tattoos oh yeah and I and uh (laughs) And I did the same thing. So I walked in and said, man, I, you know, uh, no, actually I walked in 
asking to buy equipment. So my reception was like, get the hell out of my studio. I don't sell equipment. I didn't know any better. So <laughs> I came back the next day, show my drawings and he was, uh, I, this was just pretty good drawings. And, you know, are you really interested in pursuing, you know, tattooing? I say, absolutely. I love it. Since I was 12 years old, I've been pursuing it. And, uh, so he asked me to call my parents and ask if your parents say, okay, I might be able to kind of take you under my wing and teach you. And so I did and asked my parents, they said, go ahead. And I worked for him for 20 years. Wow. wow. That's dope. And yeah. yeah. And then he ended up passing away and I opened my own studio uh, with my wife and we've been in business for about 18 years now. Do you, you're talking about Lou Scimbadio, is that right? No, Lou Scabiero uh, from was Lou from Miami. He passed away. Uh -huh. And there was actually uh, about, I think it was three Lou's. There was Lou Rubino, in, uh, you know, obviously in New York. Um, they will, you know, uh, Lou Scabiero is Miami. And Lou DiBiase, which is the one that I met, was the first uh, shop in in florida was the one that i work with and where in florida was that what was that where in florida clearwater clearwater st Pete, tampa bay area yeah I'm, I'm from i'm from tampa really yeah yeah i um i used to work with doc dog las what vegas. was that i used to work with doc dog las vegas tattoo company nice that's cool in ebor yep yep nice man yeah, well, yeah. my name is Litos. I used to can see you on the screen there. Litos, yeah, I, I think I've met you. I, I used to work with David Bolt. I used to go around selling. Oh, tech. nice, man. Nice. Yeah, of course. So, uh, yeah, I love David, man. He's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I used to sell Flash oh. for him. And, uh, yeah, Small World. Yeah. Very cool, man. Uh, Andre, dude, you've really educated us like no other, man. I, I can't think. Yeah, that's, that's insane, man. This is just... Uh, blown away here yeah no worries no worries man it's fun I killer saw a lot of your stuff man um you got, you got a hell of a portfolio online thank you thank you this is something i was going to post about water layer and, and kind of using uh you know that form of like kit this is this is a scene from um um panio this is a scene from Ponyo. The wave was like coming up, and uh -huh. and I and I basically just took that and I and I made it tattooy. But this is something that I want. I'll, I'll, I'll do this exercise next week. But this nice. is this this is from that that animated like, movie Ponyo. I like the Greg <laughs> Iron style a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. I I, I, I kind of try to tap into that a little bit, you know. <clears throat> Um, but this is another one like uh probably next week we could do um uh wait up okay, so let's do <laughs> little photo reference. Oh nice. This is from Ponyo also. I, uh, if, if you're ever watching that animated movie, this is the scene where she's running on water. Uh -huh. And there's like fish morphing yeah. into the water. And it's wow. and um, the cars th at this scene, the car is cutting the corner and it's the waves are chasing um, the, uh, the mother and the son in the car. But this is like studio i mean this these have this has all the formula of like the stuff that i use you know cascading water with uh splashes of white water finger waves i mean like this right here is just like sick to draw mm -hmm. can you make that bigger <laughs> man can you imagine making that in animation having to draw like a million oh. frames damn yeah all the movement and that's like this family. right here is a back piece in itself. This is like a whole yeah. full suit. Like this would probably be like the the whole back, and this is be onto the ribs to the front. It would wrap all the way around. Yeah, um, that's how I look at it. I look at it, I look at this as like I would tattoo this on someone. Yeah, um, that's super cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah it is uh, 
so we'll, we'll do that exercise next week um yeah thank you guys for for being a part of this you know yeah thank you man Appreciate yeah thank it. you it's, it's kind of fun um uh, probably just well, just well, we could still chop it up and talk until uh Danny comes back oh i'm actually i'm back here oh all right just came <laughs> in a few minutes ago um yeah uh, i was just hearing about litos uh starting at 12 years old that was amazing yeah and i'm only that? 23 go figure <laughs> you're like a time traveler too uh, uh, yeah that's it yeah. <laughs> that's i'm cool. sticking to that <laughs> um there's somebody in the uh, comments andre that wants to shout out to you for clowning oliver peck oh come on <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so they appreciate it <laughs> funny all right. Well, um, yeah, everybody's in the comments saying thank you so much. So there's yeah. hopefully lots of people still sticking around. And yeah, thank you so much. Can't wait to see you next week. Everybody, feel free to come back. Uh, we'll post about it on Reinventing the Tattoo Instagram and stuff. Uh, and what, on, that's cool, man. What is yeah. the, um, the, the hashtag? Thank you. Uh, uh, we, 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 wave, wave Week. week. Wave, wave Week. Wave, yeah, Wave Week. That's cool. Yeah. Everybody's awesome. doing Melissa, I like that. See Melissa, I like that. That's cool. <laughs> I'm still sitting over here struggling, just doodling, going, I don't know. <laughs> well, think about you know, t- Melissa, check this out. Look, look at what you just did. That's cool because you know, it made me really think about like that little pinch of wave you have, like you know, you have that, you have this movement here, and you have that, that. And you, it's pinching right here. I mean, when you look at this illustration, they, they did that. And so you can, you know, like no line is a no line is a mistake. You know, it's, it's how you look at it. Sometimes just shrink the image down, you know, shrink the image down, look, step back, look at it, see what you need to refine. I would I would just do like I would just, you know, like make this part bring bring up here so you have this over here i'd bring i'd bring a little bit more mass over here and then like that you know thumbnails of thumbnails yeah this is all like everything uh, yeah yeah it's all thumbnails you know this is a little thumbnail now like how i would break all that down it's it's all a thumbnail so don't draw it so big drawing it big is the last is the last is the like i didn't draw any of this stuff big I did a I did a tiny thumbnail. I mean let's 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 go let's go back on this video and you can see the replay. It was smaller. You know, it was smaller. So try that. Try try doing a little square, drawing in that square, get the feel for it. Um and, and build and build around that. You know? That's so cool. Photoshop is not really happening. Nice. <laughs> Photoshop doesn't have um replay? I don't think so. You know, I was looking into that recently and I think that there is an option, but I can't figure out how to make it work. There is. It's really confusing, at least the last time I used it, uh, which was like a decade ago. Um, <laughs> mm. it, uh, <laughs> it's like this, um, oh gosh, what's the word for it? It's like this thing that actually allows you to to screen the whole like it screen grabs the whole video of it um so like all the options that you do all your history brush everything else i just can't remember the name of it um but it's kind of like oh gosh i'm gonna have to search through photoshop now dang it (laughs) yeah Um, it's it's really confusing to do though it's not user friendly at least it wasn't when i last did it um, I actually had a, a class I had to take with uh, Photoshop. I think it's like my second round of Photoshop. And it was like an hour and a half trying to get like this 30 changes actually done properly to where it was in video sequence. Hmm. But they do have it. Yeah. <laughs> Technically. That's wild. 
Yeah, but that look, that wave looks great. You know, like all of that looks good. It's just step back, make a little thumbnail, and do little, do little, you know, do little shapes. And this is a good exercise for everybody. Um, um, try, try, you know, uh, let's let's go on this one. Open back up. Open. Thank you. Um, <laughs> what anime is bro? Um, Ponyo. Um, you know what? Let, I, I can show you right now. Um, it was a GIF that was. What is up with the Wi Fi, fam? It knows your life. My Wi Fi is like, really? <laughs> Our Wi Fi has been stupid lately. Maybe it's a, just a thing right now. Andre, I have, how do you spell the Ponyo? P O N Y O. P O N Y O. What the f One second. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Dropping shit. Um, I might have to just show you on my phone. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. I mean, this is one of the animated GIFs, but this is what's animated in the cartoon. Cool. Yeah. It reminds again, this is something that I... Reminds me of Fantasia a little bit, the style. Right. And and uh, Studio um, um, Ghibli, they, they, they're like the Disney... They're the Disney of um Japan. Nice. They just released. Like he, he prides himself on like. So if you look at like this animation, uh -huh. is uh this animation right here is that wave I was showing you earlier. And I'm always like looking for like something a little bit different. Like let me try. <clears throat> Uh, let me try these like different water exercises. Just do a wave daily, like one one wave, once a, a set of waves a day. Um, and see like you're what saying, happens. You're looking, literally, you you you're talking about it before that you look about you know you, you think about gravity all the time. And I guess if you replay that wave in movement, uh, look, you get all these yeah. ideas, right? Of of the that's cool. I mean, look yeah. at the clouds. Exactly. Look at the clouds. The clouds, the wind, the wind is blowing it's the blowing white back. water back. Yeah, that spray. The, the wave is coming up. The wave is coming up and the break. The gravity is pulling the water back down, you know? Right. So yep. I, 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 I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing with the idea of let me do this is here. Mm -hmm. That wave that you see coming at the end, that is this right here. You know? Um, yeah. The, the 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 water that comes right here, that's it right here. Yes, yeah, the wind um, pushing that water in, and the wind the pushing the water top. back there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and 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 then making it tattooy now. Like, how do I make that? Like, well, I just I, I use all the fundamental shapes of this hump here, a hump back mm -hmm. there, a hump over here, and I and and this hump is the I wanted this hump to be more dominant. And um, the one back there, I, I bought it down. 
but still had this wave. See how that? See how this? See how this warrior that's being pushed by the wind? I kept that in. Uh-huh. I just kept that little piece back here. But these are the things that, like, uh, um, this was an exercise. So I, I do an exercise a day just to keep everything fresh. Um, yeah, it kept the perspective by le- leaving that wave in the back there. You know, it kept right. that depth perspective. Right. Exactly. Foreground water, mid ground, background. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, um, and I and I did that here: foreground water, uh, mid back back water. Now, um, so there's always like a layer. There's the, there's three layers, and those are very strong elements. Um, and and yeah, um, I got one right now. Animation reminds me of the last unicorn. The last oh, unicorn, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of those Some waves in that that are reminiscent of that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much Good night. Thank yeah. you for everybody. And Most awesome. definitely. Thank, thank you. Fantastic. Thanks. Very cool. I appreciate thank you. you, guys. You're welcome. Thank you. See you next week. Thank you, Andre. Bye, everybody. Take thank care. you. Thank you, guys. Everybody, have a good night.